massive makeup, flashy clothes, poodle hair, baby, and music that you'll never forget. It was the decade of decadence, right here on VH1's top 40 hair bands of all time, next. Hey, D. Snyder here, getting ready to kick your ass on VH1's top 40 hair bands of all time. No, I'm not dead. So who makes up our top 40 hair bands list? Well, here's the deal. First, we looked at the music of all the popular 80s pop metal bands. After all, it was the music that sold the band, right? Yeah, sure. Of course, we checked out how many hits the band had, how much chart sales success, and of course, how cheesy their ballads and songs were. Come on, feel the noise! That was classic. Then we took a good, hard look at the list and tried to assess their impact on music and effect on the heavy metal. On the heavy metal? On heavy metal! And then we took into account the height, style, and amount of the Aquanet used in the hair. After all, it's the hair that makes the hair bands. And of course, we also looked at what they were wearing. The more outrageous, the better. I am in like Flynn. We're talking bands like Skid Row, Poison, White Lion. Oh, I remember them. White Snake, Bon Jovi, and some of the more obscure bands like Mr. Big, Danger Danger, and Trickster. Anyone? Anyone? All right, you may not recognize the band, but you know the song by heart. Back in the early 80s, metal took the world by storm. Quiet Riot, Kiss, Motley Crue, and my own band, Twisted Effing Sister, was starting to find success, and heavy metal hard rock was finally being recognized as an integral part of the rock and roll community. <sighs> but I digress. We all know that metal got its start with bands like Black Sabbath and Led Zeppelin taking rock to a new, heavier, and louder level. But in the 80s, it wasn't just music that drove the band or the fans into a frenzy. As the decade progressed, the hair got bigger, the makeup heavier, the clothing more outrageous, and the music, well, the music, it was a reflection of the times. <laughs> Boom. It was all about sex, drugs, and rock and roll. By the mid-80s, the genre had taken off, and that's what we're here to celebrate. But first up, at number 40, is Hanoi Rocks. Now, I once threatened to drag these guys off the stage and throw them a beaten. But that said, I think this band is one of the most underrated, and they started the whole glam rock movement, and I'm glad we're recognizing them tonight. <laughs> Finland's Hanoi Rocks formed in 1980. The band never charted in America, but their in-your-face attitude, kick-ass live show, and all that hair still made an impact worldwide, inspiring countless metalheads and kick-starting a new era in rock. They're number 40 on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time. Bring in the firing squad. I was responsible for the 80s hair metal. <laughs> yeah, we definitely did influence the 80s. Look, you can kill me for that if you want, but that's just how it is. I was part of it. I think Michael Monroe and Hanoi Rocks probably had visually the greatest impact on the 80s. Our whole motivation of doing what we're doing was just to piss off as many people as possible. So we would dress like that and look like that nonstop. It was part of being young and having fun. These guys would have to play a note. They just look like rock stars. They just look cool. never planned the image or you know what we're gonna wear or you know that whole hair thing was basically started that we didn't have a place to to take a shower or whatever and it just kept going and got dirtier and dirtier and just started standing up lead singer michael monroe was the first to switch from dirt to aquanet mike was kind of printing it up all the time it, like major makeup and a couple of cans of hairspray a day i guess that he was still from girls the rest of us just like hats and long hair and it was just like I finally got animals in my head and all that. It was really nasty. <laughs> I don't recommend it to anybody. <laughs> I am looking for a time, I'm always looking for me. 
they're not old enough to be the godfathers of glam, but they could have been because they had so many offspring that came out later on in the 80s. Guns N' Roses were so impressed by Hanoi Rocks that they re-released the band's entire back catalog. Axel even made an appearance in lead singer Michael Monroe's solo video. It's, it's cool, man. You know, some band who's never sold like 100,000 million records, you know, and cites you as their influence. You know, it's very flattering. It's, it's cool as hell. Other Hanoi disciples included Poison, L.A. Guns, and Faster Pussycat. They heavily influenced bands like us and Guns N' Roses and even Motley Crue. So I moved to L.A. in 87 and I couldn't believe my eyes. Everybody looked like us. You know, it didn't matter if you were a 300 pound truck driver, you were still like a bleach blonde hair and makeup on, you know. It was a really bizarre, surreal experience. Do I have to tell you I'm your slave? I think that some of the other 80s bands were almost happy that Hanoi Rocks wasn't bigger, so this way more people couldn't see where they took some of their ideas from. In 1985, the band broke up, but their music and style live on. Hanoi Rocks is as important a, an underground band as any band in the history of rock. I really wish they could have been more successful and people could have appreciated them a little more. At one time, Extreme had some of the biggest hair in hard rock, but it was the acoustic ballad More Than Words that helped the Boston band sell over two million copies of their second album, Porno Graffiti, and put them at number 39 on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time. Say I love you. In order to cross over and get the massive appeal and move over into the world of pop radio, these artists had to have a couple songs on their records that also would appeal to the housewives and the, the mainstream, so to speak. When More Than Words came out, it was like instant reaction. People were, uh, you know, calling MTV to see the video. For it to go up to number one, something we'd never expected it to do. It must have been a matter of weeks where our, our lives were, like, flipping over. It's funny because uh, we were on tour with Extreme when More Than Words hit. They just said, excuse me, <laughs> and uh, they, you know, of course, exploded. It was a great song, and, and then we ended up opening up for them for the rest of the like Mothers and grandmothers were showing up, you know, at our shows. They weren't about the visual of the big, poofy hair and the bright, colored outfits and everything else. I mean, they really crossed a lot of borders. They were more reminiscent of a queen than I think they were a lot of the hair bands of that era. Extreme called it quits in 96. The guys continue to make music. Singer Gary Sharon enjoyed a brief gig as the lead singer for Van Halen. But Extreme will always be their crowning achievement. Probably because of, of our hair, you know, they put you in this hair band thing, and Heavy you're metal. a metal band thing, but when, uh, we're just extreme, you know, and hopefully someday that, well, I know it's gonna take a career, but hopefully someday we'll be just called extreme. Autograph and their embarrassing loud radio. And Jackal's special tool. We actually incorporate it to be the musical instrument that it is. Right here on VH1's top 40 hair bands of all time. You know, a lot of people think our band is cursed. Pete drinks himself out of the band. This is my band, no, this is our band. Rick nearly kills himself. And all this crap with me. If he keeps abusing himself like this, he's going to die. All right, so I get it. I'm an addict. Hysteria, the Death Leopard story, a VH1 original movie featuring Anthony Michael Hall and Amber Valletta. Rock and roll. Premieres Wednesday at 9, 8 central. Wednesdays, home of movies that rock. Okay, Vegas. Austin. Tulsa. Vegas, honey. Yuma. And Austin. Strong kids.
left, is it? No more jobs. This is the last one I'm doing. Then quit. Quit now. He bypassed the surveillance. But I run this operation down to the smallest detail. You're the boss. He evaded detection. We gotta go now, or we don't go at all. Today, the only threat that remains is the one he never expected. Hold it right there. Robert De Niro, Edward Norton. This is over now, and you just gotta deal with it. It's not over yet. The score, rated R. Today, in theaters everywhere. Want to get fit? The Athlete's Foot offers the best in expert advice, shoe selection, and technology with our exclusive Fit Print system. Russell, don't set the blade too low. Okay! Had a long summer day. Make up for it with a Blockbuster night. Enjoy your summer nights with one of these DVDs coming to Blockbuster this July. 13 Days, Down to Earth, The Family Man, and Double Take. Rent them on DVD at Blockbuster, bringing entertainment home all summer long. Dude, what are you doing? Looking for change? What? You don't need change. Just pick up the phone and dial 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -L -L Say with me. C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -L -L Save big bucks on every call. Dial 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T for collect calls. Got a plate in my head. Are you open? Open to the new spirit of hair color? Introducing Open, the first soft permanent color gel by L'Oreal with low ammonia and botanical conditioners for soft touch hair. Get Open, vibrantly natural color gel by L'Oreal Paris. Wendy's makes late nights great nights, serving up your favorites. Hello? Get a Wendy's classic half-pound double with cheese even late, because our pickup window's open late. A big Wendy's thank you goes out to the man in the red minivan. I have something very important to say to you all. <laughs> Stop laughing. You're fired. And you're fired. My mustache is fired. Do <laughs> me. Hello. Twizzlers. Play first. Eat later. 252 horsepower, 3.9 liter, 32 valve V8, four wheel independent suspension and traction control. The Americans are coming. The Americans are coming. Announcing 0% financing on every single 2001 Lincoln, low lease rates, and Lincoln will even make your first payment. The LS from Lincoln. It just wasn't enough having the song. Even having the song and the great looking front man wasn't quite enough. They had to find a point of entry into a very crowded marketplace that was just getting absolutely overrun with songs about getting laid and having fun and you had to find a way in. What is that? Top 40 hair bands of all time. You know, it's true, you had to have more than great music to make it in the 80s. Sometimes bands even needed a gimmick to break into the big time. Now, for some bands, hair and makeup, wild clothing was enough, or at least as far as they go, like moi. For others, their off-stage persona became as rebellious and loud as their music, like him. And yet, for others, it was just another way of making their mark. Coming up next, Jackal. Now, Jackal made their name with a chainsaw. A chainsaw? What's with these bands with the power tools? Jackal had the chainsaw. Mr. Big had the Makita drills, remember that? Motley had the vibrators. But I digress. At number 38 on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time, Jackal. These Southern rockers hit big in 1992 with their self-titled platinum debut. Jackal became instantly infamous for their long locks and their live performances, which featured over-the-top stunts and the use of a very special piece of hardware. Anybody who thinks of Jackal is immediately going to think of Jesse James Dupree and a chainsaw. I've heard of other bands that, that, that play with a chainsaw, you know, play around with it. I mean, we, I mean, we actually 
incorporate it to be the musical instrument that it is. <laughs> As much as people might mock them for that chainsaw, that chainsaw you know, set them apart from everybody else. It was part of the band and it was something no one else had. A band wielding a chainsaw was bound to cause chaos, especially at a concert. I remember I worked security at Summerfest in Milwaukee and Jackal headlined one night and I remember an entire pit full of security guards running for cover, scared beyond belief, when this just whacked out southerner whipped out his chainsaw and started just hacking into his bench that was on stage. What a better combination, a chainsaw, rock and roll. It's loud, it's aggressive, it's abrasive, it's destructive, it's smelly. When the smell of that twin oil and gasoline hit the air, it's what we call the high of the 90s. Yeah, yeah, ah! There wasn't anything Dupree wouldn't do to make sure his band's music reached the masses. We'll sell our album, so we're gonna come for all you shoppers and do some rocking and rolling. Kmart was not carrying our records, so we figured we'd just go play for the Kmart shoppers. So we pull a flatbed tractor trailer rig up in front of the Kmart and we start jamming. <laughs> before the police came and shut us down. Jesse James released a solo album in 2000, but Jackal is still very much together and still going strong. That's the essence of rock and roll. You know, we, we don't care about the stage. We don't care about the look. We don't care about, you know, everything being perfect and sound checks. We just want to get out there and rock, and that's what Jackal did. And that's what Jackal, I mean, to this day, that's what Jackal do. They still tour, and they, you know, still draw a crowd. All Jackal is is a country band turned up to 11 anyway. So. That's the way we like it. Steelheart never went platinum. They never even broke the top 20. But the band still had all the right ingredients for metal success in the 80s. Lots of hair and a hit power ballad that made girls swoon, guys jealous, and one hit wonders out of this kid. As pure a metal cheese epitome moment as there, as, there, as there was during the 80s. Dripping with calories, that clip. And the hair, that's not wig metal. That's real, unbelievably quaffed hair metal. There's no image more vivid when you mention Seal Heart than that guy just leaning back, screaming, Rah! It's just awesome. It gives me chills. Steelheart released their last album in 1992 and disbanded shortly after. But their lone moment in the limelight secured their place in the hair metal pantheon. Coming up, Tesla prefers a stripped down look. Teenage girls break loose for Night Ranger. How could you not? And faster pussycat gets pretty. It was fun. Everybody wanted to have a good time and get drunk and get dressed up. All next on VH1's Top 40 Hair Bands of All Time. My VH1 Primetime. Free ride. VH1's giving away a BMW Z3 Roadster every night in July. Watch My VH1 Primetime every night from 9 to midnight. When this clue appears, go to VH1.com. Enter the artist's name to win a BMW Z3 Roadster. My VH1 Primetime. A new kind of primetime. A new BMW every night. Sponsored by McDonald's. It's the all-new Pick Your Prize Monopoly game at McDonald's. When you win, you pick your prize. Ahoy, matey. We'll take to the open sea. I am the ADD of your dreams. Hey there. Don't listen to those two. A snowmobiles are a real treat up in the north woods. No. Over here, matey. Pick me. No, they are wrong. I am the one for you. I think just about a Don't miss the Pick Your Prize Monopoly game, because now winning's easy, choosing's hard. Yeah, when a lake freezes over, he's out of commission. 
car. Okay, the hair needed a little change. Nothing crazy. So I picked up new Garnier Lumia Brightening Color Cream. It's different, because it permanently brightens your natural hair color without dramatically changing it. And it was like this for my hair. Not a huge change, just... Lumia won't dry out your hair, and it smells great. Now I feel lasting luminous color. It's you, only brighter. New Garnier Lumia. Garnier. Trust them, they're experts. Did you take the plastic wrapper off the cheese? They were wrapped? Had a long summer day. Make up for it with a blockbuster night. Enjoy your summer nights by renting one of these big hits now available on DVD at Blockbuster. Unbreakable, Snatch, The Wedding Planner, and Save the Last Dance. Rent them on DVD at Blockbuster, bringing entertainment home all summer long. Your perfect automobile. Imagine it. The seats cool you when you're hot and warm you when you're cold. The air you breathe is possibly the purest anywhere. The sounds you hear are some of the finest in the world. The all-new Lexus LS430. You don't have to imagine anymore. See your Lexus dealer now. If you're gonna make a collect call, pick up the phone and dial 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -T. 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -T. Nice job, Carrot Stick. Save big bucks on every call. Dial 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T -T for collect calls. Can I have your number? <laughs> to move. It's time to submit to the rhythm with Pulse. Two CDs or two cassettes of non-stop throbbing energy. You can't get this 30-track collection in any store. can order this collection online at musicspace.com. Feel the pulse and get it now. To order, call the number on your screen or log on to musicspace.com. Top 40 hair bands of all time, counting our way down to number one. Got a long way to go and a lot more hair banging metal on the way. Now, not all hair bands originated in the 80s. Some of the musicians kick started their career in the late 70s. Night Rangers guitarist Brad Gillis jammed with Ozzy, and keyboardist Alan Fitzgerald played with Montrose. You know, hair band musicians, we don't get no respect. I was a classically trained counter tenor, for God's sakes. There were a lot of great talented musicians in the hair bands and heavy metal bands of the 80s. Never forget it. And while Night Ranger's background and experience may not have been in the hair band realm, ultimately, they got sucked into. At number 36 on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time, Night Ranger. The band didn't wear makeup like Cinderella or get as many girls as Motley Crue, but they had fluffy do's and a top 10 hit that became an 80s rock staple. Mr. Christian, oh, the time has come. Night Ranger's sister Christian was anthemic to that early 80s female angst breaking out, growing up. Where you going, what you looking for? Here was this song in this video that kept it locked up in a jar. Well, now I'm breaking loose. The radio's on the beach. It was everywhere. This song really connected. It was a wonderful pop. Ranger was much more of a rockin' band than that song ever portrayed him. Also, two of the greatest guitar players in a single band. I mean, 
Don't Tell Me You Love Me, You Can Still Rock in America. These are some great songs. The band parted ways in 1990. Reuniting six years later, they've been recording and touring ever since. At number 35 on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time, Faster Pussycat. Formed in 1985, the band's punk glam looks and hedonistic stage presence were an integral part of the L.A. rock scene. Lead singer Tammy Down even owned the Cat House, the rock club featured in the movie Decline of Western Civilization Part II, The Metal Years. The band released three albums. They broke out in 1990 with the top 30 ballad, House of Pain. We're on tour with Molly Crew and had like a top 30 single and that was just like, whoa. We couldn't expect that, so I mean, that was awesome. That was like the pinnacle of it for us. They were a lot louder, sleazier, a lot more obnoxiously dressed than a lot of the bands of that era, and that was part of their charm. They took their raunch a bit further with a little soft porn. Well, we got the name Faster Pussycat from a Russ Meyer film called Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. It's like a 60s kind of B-movie. Actually, it's rated X, but there wasn't any, there's no nudity in it. It's just because of the cleavage. There was always a sexuality that drove Faster Pussycat that I think really made them mean that much more to a lot of people. They really played up the sleaze card a little bit more than a lot of other bands did. They had major blue. I mean, did you see Tammy down the quaff? Unbelievable. I think uh, Brett Muscat at the time was probably the prettiest boy on the planet. You know, all the girls just absolutely loved him. When you went to see Faster Pussycat live, I think that you definitely got the sense that they had influenced the people there. You dressed like you were going to a Faster Pussycat show. It was fun. Everybody wanted to have a good time, get drunk. It's starting to get back to where people are having fun going out again and getting dressed up and making themselves look a little more wild and crazy again. Which At number 34 on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time, Autograph. The band rocked the 80s metal scene with the crimson curls of lead singer Steve Plunkett. Largely considered a one-hit wonder because of the Top 40 smash, Turn Up the Radio, Autograph still cranked out three gold records and had everyone knocking at their door. Here to see Autograph. Sorry, dude, it's a closed rehearsal. What? No way. Autograph, Turn Up the Radio, that was their song. It was an anthem for radio. It was basically like a statement, you know, come on, man, let's turn up the radio and rock it. We're really smart in making it about radio because every radio programmer wanted to play a song as kind of like their theme song to turn up the radio. Even though the band only had one huge hit, leader Steve Plunkett left a lasting impression. <laughs> the only thing I remember about Autograph was their singer, and if you want to talk about hair bands, the guy had some of the most ridiculous hair ever to be in a video. It was like the biggest, orangest mane of hair. That guy was like a poodle. You know, it was, it was not happening. Definitely not happening. And I just remember him in this vest with some sort of military type things dangling from it. And I once read a review or something where the guy said he's the Ronald McDonald of hard rock, and I just thought it was hysterical. Although the band broke up in the late 80s, the guys will always share a place in rock history with one undeniable anthem and one unforgettable hairdo. Says to hell with the devil. Kicks finally get some credit. To me, their music is timeless. You know, I think they were one of the great rock bands that still haven't gotten there to do it, you know what I mean? On VH1's top 40 hair bands of all time. All this week on my VH1 Primetime, it's Monsters of Rock Week. This can't happen. Rock and roll! Sunday.
It's the premiere of Behind the Music, Green Day. This is where I've always wanted to be. Monsters of Rock Week, every night at 9, only on VH1. Monsters of Rock is sponsored by Applebee's Neighborhood Grill and Bar. Eating good in the neighborhood, Applebee's. And by Blockbuster. Enjoy your summer nights with Blockbuster, bringing entertainment home all summer long. There's a place where the sun always shines and folks love a good meal. It's got to be Applebee's. Good in the neighborhood. Summer salads are in the air. We're tossing oriental chicken with crunchy almonds and tangy dressing. Or dive into new salads like garlic crusted shrimp Caesar. And for a limited time, the Steakhouse. 11 ounces of sirloin with crispy greens and blue cheese only at Applebee's. And check out Applebee's new menu items like the appetizer sampler. That's eating good. Canada Dry Ginger Ale. Out and out refreshment. Facts of Life by Lysol. Fact. Hats don't come with breaks. Fact. No other wipe kills germs faster than new Lysol sanitizing wipes. They kill 99.9% .9 of germs in seconds. Life demands Lysol. That's a fact. Facts of Life by Lysol. Fact. To a child, any food can be fast food. Fact. No other wipe kills germs faster than new Lysol sanitizing wipes. They kill 99.9% .9 of germs in seconds. Life demands Lysol. That's a fact. What do you order? What happened? I think it was something I ordered. It looked so good, but I think I got some bad long distance. There's BLD in this. See your bill? From home calling area only. Well, I knew it. It can happen. Here. Sprint PCS has real nationwide long distance included. So you can call to anywhere, from anywhere on their network with no long distance charges. I feel so much better. That's what they all say. Try the duck. Real nationwide long distance from Sprint PCS. ashamed of it. I didn't want to go out at all. For serious gas, there's Phazime Ultra with more gas medicine than ever before. Works just like that. Thank you, Phazime. Try Phazime Ultra. Tropicana Pure Premium Grove Stand is made from only fresh oranges, never from concentrate. It's as close as you can get to the orange. Tropicana Pure Premium. A strong dryness ingredient and skin conditioners keep you softer, drier, strong and beautiful, just like you. Quit. Quit now. I promise you this is the last one I'm doing. Critics are calling Robert De Niro, Edward Norton, Angela Bassett, and Marlon Brando. One of the most amazing casts ever assembled. Gene Shalit says the score is a winner. It's fantastic. Suspenseful from beginning to end. Hold it right there. And Larry King calls it a keeper with a switch that will blow you away. This is over now and you've got to deal with it. It's not over yet. The score rated R. Today in theaters everywhere. America Online. It's so easy. Click and giddy up. Send emails fast. Instant messages are so much fun. A lot of people on my buddy list. Bing. Chat, instant messages. That fast. AOL has got it all. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. Call now. So easy. Rocking and swaying right through the 30s here on VH1's top 40 hair bands of all time. Okay. So we've seen some really big hair, checked out some outrageous clothing, and even got a little chainsaw action on the side. It don't mean nothing, no! Well, while image and style weren't important, that wasn't enough for some bands to break through. Even musicians with a solid underground following and straight-ahead rock tunes weren't cutting the cheese. Sorry. 
end of the power ballad, an 80s phenomenon, dash of sappy lyrics, add a few whiny guitars, an emphatic drum part, you know, boom, 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 and pretty images for your video, chicks preferred. Most hair bands had them, and sometimes even needed them. Most power ballads were tear-jerky, sappy, love, I miss you, babe, I'm leaving, and I love you, but you don't love me songs. Others added a whole new chapter to the phenomenon. With their hit, Don't Close Your Eyes, Kicks helped a lot of kids deal with the gruesome subject of suicide and made an even bigger impact on their fans. Kicks started out in Baltimore in 1978, playing small clubs and perfecting their high-octane mix of wacky stage stunts and ACDC-inspired songs. Over a decade later, the hair metal group hit the jackpot when their fourth album, Blow My Fuse, sold over a million copies. Kicks is at number 33 on our list of top 40 hair metal. Stand out from other bands. Kicks was sort of fashioned after ACDC, the Bon Scott style ACDC. <laughs> And they were around on the circuit in Baltimore doing their thing as a bar band. And they didn't really have an image. They were just stripped down blue collar rock music. And when success hit, they had an image. Now, I'm not really embarrassed by it, but uh, the image thing, that was pretty much my own thing. You know, I did what I wanted. So, you know, that was cool. Kicks was another band that was great live, and what they did best was really get on stage and crank it out. Uh, two guitar players and just Steve Whiteman running around like a nut, uh, just in your face, really a lot of fun to go see live. In 1989, Kicks went all the way to number 11 with Don't Close Your Eyes, a power ballad with an anti-suicide message. Don't Close Your Eyes added a different chapter to the whole ballad, Babe, I'm Leaving. I love you, but you don't love me. I mean, here was a song that was a tearjerker about suicide, and it became a suicide anthem. They know that she Although the band called it quits in 1996, the guys are still making music today and remain one of the 80s great unsung heroes. They were a great rock band. And they got categorized in the 80s scene because they just so happened to be of that genre. And to me, their music is timeless. You know, I think they were one of the great rock bands that still haven't gotten their due. You know what I mean? Emerging in the late 80s, Saigon Kick wasn't exactly glam, but they did have tons of hair and one unstoppable power ballad in Love Is On The Way, which went all the way to number 12 in 1992. That's why they're in at number 32 on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time. When they broke huge with Love Is On The Way off the Lizard, that was it. That made it very easy to take them and push them up with the Every Rose Has A Thorn and the Heavens and all the power ballads. So that made them a hair band. We tend to get put into a category with those bands by people who just kind of sum up the... the I think that's when the band was over. That, that, that's when it was over for me. The thing about Saigon Kick is that they try to introduce some different sounds and some rhythmic things into their music that were kind of different. They may have seen where things were going and they were kind of, in, in terms of their look and their sound, just a little bit ahead of the curve, I think, at that time. See, the thing about this band that's so misunderstood is we were too edgy. We started in the bridge between when glam metal was ending and right at the time when bands like James Addiction and Soundgarden were still really, really underground. Today, the guys in Saigon kick rock on in separate outfits, satisfied with the mark they've left behind. And the true fans, the true industry people that know Saigon Kick, give the band credit for what we actually did. I won't even say what kind of an impact we made now, because I think the impact is just going to keep getting rediscovered. Next, the Bullet Boys are smooth up in ya. And Trickster gives it to us good. 
Washington. Tesla remembers an era of decadence. It was a great decade. We all had a lot of fun in the 80s. Only here on VH1's Top 40 Hair Bands of All Time. My VH1 Primetime, every night from 9 to midnight. My Mondays, vote at VH1.com for the shows and countdowns you want to see. Wednesdays, movies that rock. Fridays, you're in the front row for the best concerts on television. Every weekend, new episodes of Behind the Music, plus the new series, Cover Wars. And every night in July, we're giving away a BMW Roadster. My VH1 Primetime, TV built for you. And she continues to dominate the net. Here's the setup. Spike down the center. Check it out. What's this? It's like wanting her to call ITT right down the center. Right. Oh, uh, come here. I'm out. Time out. Actual product demo. Right here. 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -T. Yeah, that was fun. That was easy. Let's do it again. Come on. Let's do it again. Save big bucks on every call. Dial 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T -T for collect calls. Well, you got to love those shorts. They match the hair. Mm -hmm. Well, I ain't feeling good at call. Chair time. Uh oh, keep it going. Mm. Comes back. You're fired. You're fired. <laughs> Is that your chair? Want to ride around in leather? The all-new five-door Elantra GT from Hyundai. It comes with the freedom of America's best warranty plan. CD player, side airbags, and leather. All for under fourteen thousand. Excuse me. That's my chair. Nice. <laughs> What are you doing? Laundry. Laundry? But I'm glad you're up. I've been waiting to vacuum. Breakfast. I'll pick up your tray when I get back from the market. But it's Sunday. Aren't you going to lay around and watch football all day? Not if I'm going to finish that roast in time for dinner. Somebody had their minute made this morning. It only takes a minute, but the feeling lasts all day. Honey, what's the setting for chiffon? Heinz tomato ketchup was asked in 1869. No one's really sure what asked means. But Heinz is pretty proud of it. Heinz tomato ketchup asked in 1869. Just a reminder, Wendy's pickup windows open late so you can get a classic half-pound double with cheese made fresh and eat great, even late. At Harvard Law School, I got a PhD. First class. the best and the brightest will meet. Me! The blondest. You got into Harvard Law? What, like it's hard? Reese Witherspoon is Legally Blonde. Rated PG-13. Now playing. is it. The collection you've been waiting for is finally here. Easy Rock. Over two hours of pure mellow gold on two CDs or two cassettes. You can order this collection online at musicspace.com. Why wait? Order this collection by Rush Delivery. It feels so right. Get Easy Rock now. To order, call the number on your screen or log on to musicspace.com. I always remember when I was a kid going to concerts and the whole lighter thing, I could never get the thing to stay lit, and then you'd, your, your thumb would be worn out because you kept flicking it, and it would burn your thumbs. I never understood how people did that for so long and how that continues to endure. To this day, you still see it every once in a while. Top 40 hair bands of all time heading our way into the titillating 20s on our countdown. <laughs> Uh, I said, Ted, 
Got plenty more Aquanet and spandex and metal memories on the way. Who left their house in the 80s without their lighters? I don't care if you didn't smoke. If you were going to a concert, you brought your damn lighter. And when the first chord of that power ballad was struck, it didn't work. You were surrounded by flames and the masses became one. And what a sight to see. I am telling you, I wish you could be there to stand on a stage. I was a god! I digress. All right, get your lighter ready. Here's one band you are going to want to spark up for. It's Tesla. Tesla wasn't your typical spandex rock and makeup wearing hair band. These platinum sellers preferred a more casual look. We're just a, a jeans and t-shirt band, you know? We're just basic your real basic guys, you know? Just straight ahead, serious rock and roll. Some of their parts equaled one amazing band. And you know, the fact that Frankie Hannon might have looked really good, it made it really easy to call him a hair band. Formed in 1985, the band cranked out a hard blues-based rock sound, releasing five albums, bagging two top ten singles, and hooking millions of fans in the process. Tesla is number 31 on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time. Playing with the whole hair band image was a necessary evil if you had to be a little bit larger than life. So, of course, Tesla, we're going to play with the image. This is a great decade. We all had a lot of fun. I always knew it was a great song. I always felt it was a single. The love Song was really the song that just launched them you know, in, into the top 40 realm of being superstars. After breaking up in the mid-90s, Tesla reunited in 2000 for some live gigs, and they don't plan on quitting anytime soon. We had traveled for about 12 years and kind of we like took five years off and now we're back together and we're like fresh and a tight unit again. Hot pants. <laughs> Sexy slithers. And music that'll bring you back in time. We're taking you through the Hairspray Hall of Fame right here on VH1's Top 40 Hair Bands of All Time. Hey, Dee Snyder here on VH1's Top 40 Hair Bands of All Time. Counting down the biggest hair, the most outrageous outfits, and the cheesiest music of 80s pop metal bands. Got a lot coming your way, but first, let's get caught up with who's landed on the countdown so far. Me, I feel the heat of last not something that we're so hard to grasp onto for young people. Falling in love, making trouble, disrespecting authority. These were the mantras of the 80s metal scene. And they didn't package them in a real serious, hard to get kind of construct. They put it out there in a very simple, palatable way. And what the videos did, and they were so essential in the imaging of this music, was they made it all seem like a big party. Come on to the party. Let's get laid. Have fun. Let's piss off our parents. 
I hear you, Lon. My only problem was after the success of Twisted Sister, I found it kind of tough sitting poolside with five cars, two boats, and a million-dollar house running about teen angst. But I digress. All right. So if you're just catching up, been talking about what makes a hairband a hairband. Well, hair, of course, the bigger, the better. But you also need good-looking band members, stylish clothing, big guitars, larger-than-life stage shows, and chicks in the videos. And you can't forget some pretty rockin' music. Rock and Roll Rebellion, wild parties, crazy antics, and, of course, a lot of sex action always helped. At number 30 on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time, Bullet Boys. The band shot to the top in the late 80s thanks to their radio-ready blues riffs, singer Mark Torian's snake-like moves, and all that blonde hair. I remember Mark Torian and his just crazy onstage dancing. He had this dynamic aura, and then he just did this, like, the predecessor to Axel on stage, like, with his little shimmy snake slither thing across the stage. But some critics thought the Bullet Boys were the second coming of another huge 80s band. Bullet Boys were the Van Halen stepchildren. They were on the same record label. They were produced by the same guy who produced Van Halen. I think discovered by the same guy. We got thrown into a category of being a Van Halen-esque type of band. They were very much cut from the cloth of early Van Halen in their sound, in their approach, and in the fact that they were very groove-oriented. All their music kind of grooved. Eddie Van Halen asked that question personally to us. You know, how we were at his beach house hanging out, and he asked us, what do you think about the Van Halen comparisons? And it's just like, what's wrong with being what compared <laughs> to one of the greatest rock bands of my lifetime? Sales of the band's self-titled debut skyrocketed after MTV played the hell out of the video for Smooth Up In Ya. Smooth Up In Ya! Our first video, Smooth Up, uh, was number one on MTV for uh, about five or six months on, when they had dial MTV. Hi, we're Bullet Boys! We just couldn't get off the air because it was shot so well and the performance with the band was pretty epic for that time. And we didn't know that... Yeah. Video was going to be responsible for us selling a half million records within six months either, but it very much was responsible for that. Bullet Boys are also responsible for inspiring a fashion trend or two. One of the hugest things in the 80s, which was the pants with things sewn on all over them. His look was kind of like a, a black turtleneck thing with the sleeves cut off and definitely the very colorful jeans type of thing. After a brief split in the 90s, Bullet Boys released a greatest hits collection in 2000 and are still giving diehard fans what they want out on the road. In at number 29 on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time, Trickster. They were four teenagers from Paramus, New Jersey, with big hair and a handful of catchy rock songs. The band was just playing for kicks, but in 1990, their rock and roll dreams suddenly came true. Their self-titled debut album went gold, giving Trickster a chance to rock their hometown. The night, you know, we played our, for the first time, played the Meadowlands Arena in New Jersey, which was, that was our ultimate dream from day one. It's all we ever wanted to do. That's just as well as some of their 28, 32-year-old peers. It was pop rock with a, a high-energy kick. Trickster wrote these really fun songs. And they were all so cute and goodly to look at. We were just lumped into the hairband thing. Uh, cutie boys with long hair, something to that effect. You are what's going on. And if you're not, you're a caveman, I guess. You know, we were in the 80s. Hey, man, everybody knows there's no denying it. Everybody had, you know, high hair, long hair. You know, not everybody, but high hair. High hair. High hell. <laughs> The big joke in the pen was, uh, you'll see, by the time the album comes out, my hair will look great. Then the album came out, hair needed some work. By the time we get on the road, my hair will be cooking. Don't worry about it. It'll be great. Trickster may have had the looks, but they steered clear from the hair metal glitz. We were just wearing flannel shirts and just, you know, hanging out with our friends, going to the diner and, play, you know, throwing the football around or something like that. And it was, it was just a little cartwheels. We were a bunch of kids that were, we were having a great time and uh, we just wanted to rock and roll. 
talked about the life we were living. And every lyric, every guitar chord, every note that we played was real. Can we rise above these flames? The band broke up in 1995. The guys are all grown up now, but they're still living out their rock and roll fantasies. We really haven't changed much. We grew up. We're not 17 and 18 years old anymore. So it's cool. You know, we're, we're older, but we still have fun, and we're still rocking. Coming up, they're scorpions put chicks in cages. Bitter, baby. Here I am. Rock you like a Firehouse finds their love of a lifetime. I'm so glad. And Ellie Gunn's guitarist does the unthinkable. Tracy Gunn's cut off his hair for this video. That was a huge move, considering everybody still had hair when this clip was made. Next on VH1's Top 40 Hair Bands of All Time. All this week on my VH1 Primetime, it's Monsters of Rock Week. This can't happen. Rock and roll! Sunday. It's the premiere of Behind the Music, Green Day. This is where I've always wanted to be. Monsters of Rock Week, every night at 9, only on VH1. At least you can eat like a man. Ballpark Franks. Look for your chance to win the NASCAR trip. Remember when I hit that home run? Yeah. You remember when I sank that hole in one? Yeah. Remember when I beat you at one on one? What was the score? I don't remember. Here's something easy to remember. For collect calls, dial 1 800 Collect. Design the perfect diamond engagement ring in just minutes. You'll have the rest of your life to design the perfect husband. Visit a diamondisforever.com. After this, no more jobs. This is the last one I'm doing. Then quit. Quit now. Today. It's a little bit complicated, but this is a very doable job. The only problem with the perfect crime. We're not gonna get another chance like this. We gotta go now. TikTok is knowing who to trust. Hand it over right now. What are you doing? Robert De Niro. Edward Norton. When did you start thinking you were better than me? The score, rated R, today in theaters everywhere. Show off your curls. Say goodbye to dry, frizzy hair with new Curl V's by L'Oreal Paris. Deeply hydrating shampoos, conditioners, and spray gel for 95% less frizz. The Curl V system has L'Oreal's Hydro Proteins to help give your curls the rich moisture they crave without the weight. So now, curls bounce back with more shape, shine, and definition. New Curl V by L'Oreal Paris for 95% less frizz. So show off your curls and show you're worth it. People rave about the fun they had. All the good days and friendly faces. And good times all around. And you wonder, did they just take a vacation? Or just get back from dinner? A great night out that feels like a holiday. Outback Steakhouse. No rules, just right. Traffic, winner of four Academy Awards. We need to send a message. I need to do some more. Including Best Supporting Actor, Benicio Del Toro, and Best Director, Steven Soderbergh. Can you tell me where my daughter is? Traffic, rated R. Now available to rent or own on video and DVD. <laughs> The hair was just kind of a given at that point. It was like you needed hair to compete. <laughs> what was 
you, you couldn't come out with flat hair in the late 80s and stand a chance because everyone's like, what the hell's wrong with you? Don't you care about what you look like? I mean, that's, that's the hair everybody wanted and they needed it. Top 40 hair bands of all time working our way down to number one. Now, not all hair bands were about glitz and glamour. Some traded their lace for leather, makeup for tats, and cowboy boots for motorbikes. But of course, they still had the long locks. While surrounded by the glitz and glamour of L.A. Sunset Strip, L.A. Guns opted for something a little different. We didn't really um, try hard with our clothes during that whole period. It wasn't like we were getting outfits together and there was a certain, you know, uniform that we looked like. It was mainly us just winging it and maybe getting influenced from each other. And uh, we, it, we, it was always a hodgepodge of clothes with us. We didn't really put that much effort into it. It was just us. And their music? Well, it sort of reflected their looks. Sultry, guttural, sleazy. They were scumbags! I don't mean that in a good way. At number 28 on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time, L.A. Guns. The dark horses of the L.A. rock scene, these guys didn't rock bright spandex and day glow makeup, but they sure had the hair. We were very much like a sort of a leather band, you know, the hair thing wasn't that important, you know, it was, it was always dirty hair, I hate to admit, but, you know, we weren't as groomed as a lot of the other bands. I think the one constant for L.A. Guns was always the black. The black hair, the black leather jacket, the black leather pants. It's a sexy look. Jim Morrison looked great in leather pants. He was the one that made it look really good. Everybody's trying to make us like these other bands, but we were so happy just being ourselves. Even though those bands were doing so well, they were goofy, man, because they weren't being themselves, you know? It wasn't an image, it was who they are. There was something there that a lot of these bands didn't have. And I think they uh, are definitely one of the unsung heroes of the late 80s and early 90s. No, 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 no. The band's albums were as hard and as uncommercial as it looks. But in 1989, the guns took everybody by surprise when their song, Ballad of Jane, hit the top 40. It was the standard thing to do, wasn't it? On the third cut of the record, you'd put the ballad. It was weird, because it didn't seem to fit with everything else. But, you know, it came out, and it was the biggest song on the record. That success followed the band's boldest move. Tracy Guns cut off his hair for this video. That was a huge move, considering everybody still had hair when this clip was made. Everyone had like, you know, it was the big hair farmers, you know, their the hair was getting bigger and the teeth were getting wider and, the, you know, it was, it was so up, yeah. cheesy. And he showed up on the Ballad of yeah, Jane yeah, video with his hair off. completely cut off yeah. and, you know, it was shocking at first to see him. L.A. Guns only hit the charts once, but they were the undisputed kings of their hometown. It was a great decade in L.A. You know, we really ruled the town, and there was nothing off limits. And uh, it was just a really great time around here. These days, the guns remain masters of their domain, a prominent part of the L.A. rock scene. Rock and roll guys supposedly are, in prison terms, lifers. You know, you go into prison because you killed somebody, you're in there for life, you know. That's the whole myth. That's the whole magic of it that's what makes it rock and roll you know someone's got to keep it alive
At number 27 on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time, Striper, the Bible-thumping, high-haired metalheads who proved one thing, Christians rock. I don't know if the right title is a Christian band, because that kind of misleads a lot of people. What we call ourselves is God Rock. That made them kind of the outcasts at one level, that they were great musicians. So at the same time, you had a lot of people who were willing to say, you know what, maybe that Jesus guy's okay. The band perfected its yellow and black attack in the mid-80s. Everything was yellow and black, the staging, the amps, the lights, uh, the clothes. It would make you dizzy. They were real kind of cartoon as a band in their black and yellow. That was their image. They were like bumblebees with Bibles. After years of struggling, the band's prayers were answered in 1986 when their second album, To Hell with the Devil, went platinum and even nabbed a Grammy nomination. Two years later, the band and its hair reached new heights when the power ballad honestly ascended into the top 40. And when that single took off, we had to stay out on the road and we stayed out and stayed out and stayed out and stayed out. And, and that was during the time we moved from theaters to arenas and it just exploded. They had the most stellar, coiffed, hair-raising dudes. And the closer their dues were to God, the closer they were to God. <laughs> it was funny because through the years, the hair got bigger and bigger and bigger. We used to use so much hairspray, practically a can in each hand, you know. Uh, and just every five minutes going back and putting more on, you know. It was unbelievable. And it was Aquanet Extra Super Hold, of course. The band parted ways in the early 90s, but the guys still play live from time to time and crank out the classics for their loyal fans. Come and have a good, clean blast and just enjoy the music and have a great time and leave feeling good, you know? Up next, Dr. Teeth himself, Joey Tempest, and Europe launches their final countdown. It's the final countdown! And Danger Danger gets naughty naughty. Let's get naughty naughty! And Mr. Big feels a little insecure about their appearance. We weren't nearly as cute as like Poison or Winger or Warren. Here on VH1's Top 40 Hair Bands of All Time. Just to be the next to be with you. I feel a lot of people think our band is cursed. Pete drinks himself out of the band. This is my band, no, it's our band. Rick nearly kills himself. And all this crap with me. If he keeps abusing himself like this, he's going to die. All right, so I get it. I'm an addict. Hysteria, the Death Leopard story, a VH1 original movie featuring Anthony Michael Hall and Amber Valletta. Rock and roll! Premieres Wednesday at 9 in Central. Wednesdays, home of movies that rock. Sponsored by KFC.
What makes the new Crispy Caesar Twister from KFC more than just another sandwich? It's the chicken. It's a soft, warm tortilla. It's the juiciness. It's the chicken. Filled with ripe tomato shaved Parmesan cheese. <laughs> it's the chicken. Crisp lettuce, crunchy noodles, two crispy all-white meat freshly prepared chicken strips. I told you, it's the chicken. It's hot. All topped with creamy Caesar dressing. It's cool. For a limited time, get a Crispy Caesar Twister and a Pepsi for just $2.99. All this for $2.99? But don't expect just another sandwich. You're getting a Twister. I can tell my stepdaughter feels like we have nothing in common. How was your day? Pretty good. I think we're kind of feeling each other out still. Can I call you back? We do share one okay. thing. Sorry. My clothes. <laughs> she loves borrowing them, but she always manages to drip something all over them. Introducing Tide Kick. Measure out the deep clean formula, treat your stains, toss it into wash. It eliminates more of your stains than any leading pre-treater and regular detergent combined. A year from now, I'd like to think we're just really good friends. Sam Adams, have you tasted America's world-class beer? Not everything can be as good as the original. I smell it phony. The Diet Dr. Pepper is. It tastes more like regular Dr. Pepper. On every call, dial 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T -L -L for collect calls. Got kind of a plate in my head. Now, that's what I call music is back. Now, 7 is new, and it's all for you with Janet and Jennifer Lopez. Survive the summer with the cool music from Now 7. I'm going to work hard Pocket 19 big hits on one amazing CD. When you order Now 7 with your credit card or by check debit, you'll also receive this Now sunglass case absolutely free. Call to complete your collection with Now 7. To order Now That's What I Call Music Volume 7 and your free Now sunglass case, call the number on your screen or send $18.98 for CD or $15.98 for cassette plus $4.95 shipping and handling to the address shown. Rush delivery available. Order now. Top 40 hair bands of all time, almost halfway through our list, counting our way down to the biggest hair on the list. Getting into the nitty gritty of what makes up a hair band. Now, some 80s pop metal bands may not have had the big ass hair, all the cheesy outfits, but their presence was still strong and their music still rocked. They didn't have the makeup or the wardrobe of your average hair band, but Mr. Big did have the hair and hits to match. Formed in 1988, the band didn't reach the top until four years later when the power ballad, To Be With You, went number one in 11 countries. All thanks to Eric Martin's soulful singing and Billy Sheehan's masterful bass playing. They're number 26 on our list of the top 40 bands of all time. Well, I was a young boy. Mr. Big were great musicians, kind of an 80s super group. They made records that were definitely melodic and had pop sensibilities to it while still being able to show off the chops. I'm 
Billy Sheehan knew. You know what? I'm Billy Sheehan. I'll play my bass in circles around these guys. I don't need to tease my hair. and I don't need to spend six hours in makeup to be able to do it. Hair metal scene, and we're you know, a pop phenomenon. Skip the rock crowd, just go straight to Top 40 Radio, because this song is so huge, it doesn't stand a chance. We weren't nearly as cute as like Poison or Winger or Warren, so those people rejected us. Because we had songs, the players rejected us, so we are basically a band without a country. Mr. Big bounced back in the 90s, playing to sold-out crowds all over Asia. We must have struck a nerve somehow with the Japanese audience. So the record entered the charts at number one, number one video, number one everything. We couldn't be more thankful. Really great to us there. We really appreciate it. At number 25 on our list of the top titled debut album, they hit the road as the opening act for KISS, scoring lots of chicks and making a couple of naughty videos along the way. We kind of went for the jugular with this whole sex thing because we were looking for an angle. I mean, there were a million bands doing the exact same thing. The band's first video, Naughty Naughty, was exactly that. I remember the video for Naughty Naughty. There was that silhouette type of thing that was going on in the background with the girl dancing. Naughty Naughty. Danger rode the scene that was so hot. We would go through as many girls as we wanted to in one particular evening and group sex and, you know, I don't want to really, you know, brag about any of that stuff because it's kind of lame, but, uh, you know, put it this way, we just, we had our, we had our fun. But just as the band's career was heating up, the hair metal scene was cooling off. By the time Danger Danger came in and were really in the height of their success, other bands were already on the decline, and the whole genre in general was on the decline. The whole thing seems to me like a, it's a bit of a blur, just two videos, and we were in and out before anybody knew it. They were the best that era had to offer because they wrote fun songs, and they wrote good, catchy songs, and they were the worst that era had to offer because they were the imagery, and they were the whole package just to the T. Some people might say that was the best the era had to offer, but ultimately that was what killed it. Danger Danger is still making records today, releasing the return of the great Gildersleeves in 2000. I'm glad we just didn't become a, a nostalgia act. I don't want to go out and just keep playing Naughty Naughty and Bang Bang every year, and, and that's it. We're moving on, and um, we're proud of our past. I'll never deny it. I love what we did. We had fun. <laughs> Firehouse didn't release their first album until 1990, but the band had all the makings of an 80s metal act. Skin-tight clothes, boofed out hair, and sticky sweet mega ballads that burned up the charts. Firehouse is number 24 on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time. They got put in that category more so because of their look than their actual sound. They had fairly big hair. They had the look that went with that whole genre. They were the textbook example of a hair band. They had the great pop songs, and to top it all off, they had ballads that would stop the world at Top 40 Radio. I'll never forget the first time we went into our record company when we got signed. They had they hooked us up with a marketing guy, and he said, all right, the most important thing is your hair. And we were like, huh? We thought it was the music. That's what was really happening at the time with the big hair. You know, I mean, that was the style. Whenever the record labels get involved and see the chance to make more money, they're going to make changes, and I think that's something that really happened with Firehouse. And you look back on it now, and you're like, well, but... Nonetheless, uh, it kind of fits in with what was happening at the time. With Love of a Lifetime, Firehouse produced one of the most recognizable power ballads of all time. It hit the top five in 1991 and drove the band's self-titled debut to double platinum success. There were a number of bands that came out and had songs that could be easily used as wedding songs or prom songs. I think probably the biggest one 
was love of a lifetime to this day it's probably like the wedding song for anybody that grew up in the 80s <laughs> Firehouse still burns in the new millennium, releasing their sixth studio album in 2000 and sticking to what they do best. We've always considered ourselves, through the trends, through the styles, just a straight-ahead, all-American rock and roll band. Coming up, Skid Row's rebellious nature. Wasp flaming crotch. And Dixon's prudish male groupies. They don't just drop their pants. For us. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Only here on VH1's top 40 hair bands of all time. My VH1 Primetime. Every night from 9 to midnight. My Mondays. Vote at VH1.com for the shows and countdowns you want to see. Wednesdays, movies that rock. Fridays, you're in the front row for the best concerts on television. Every weekend, new episodes of Behind the Music, plus the new series, Cover Wars. And every night in July, we're giving away a BMW Roadster. My VH1 Primetime. TV built for you. Monsters of Rock is sponsored by Applebee's Neighborhood Grill and Bar. Eating good in the neighborhood. Applebee's. And by Blockbuster. Enjoy your summer nights with Blockbuster. Bringing entertainment home all summer long. Russell, don't set the blade too low. Okay! Had a long summer day. Make up for it with a Blockbuster night. Enjoy your summer nights with one of these DVDs coming to Blockbuster this July. 13 Days, Down to Earth, The Family Man, and Double Take. Rent them on DVD at Blockbuster, bringing entertainment home all summer long. There's a place where the sun always shines and folks love a good meal. It's got to be Applebee's. Good in the neighborhood. Summer salads are in the air. We're tossing oriental chicken with crunchy almonds and tangy dressing. Or dive into new salads like garlic-crusted shrimp Caesar. And for a limited time, the Steakhouse. 11 ounces of sirloin with crispy greens and blue cheese only at Applebee's. And check out Applebee's new menu items like the appetizer sampler. That's eating good. You love things aired out fresh, but it doesn't last. That's because odors trapped in fabrics keep coming back. Unless you use the breeze. It cleans away trapped odors, eliminating them for good from fabrics all over the home. And Febreze leaves a clean, fresh scent to come home to. So, the more you use it, the more you love it. Febreze. Critics are calling Robert De Niro, Edward Norton, Angela Bassett, and Marlon Brando. One of the most amazing casts ever assembled. Gene Shalit says the score is a winner. Larry King calls it a keeper with a switch that will blow you away. The score rated R starts today. Dude, what are you doing? Looking for change? What? You don't need change. Just pick up the phone and dial 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -T. Say with me. C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -T. Save big bucks on every call. Dial 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T -T for collect calls. Got a plate in my head. Now, that's what I call music is back. Now, 7 is new, and it's all for you with Janet and Jennifer Lopez. Survive the summer with the cool music from Now 7. Pocket 19 big hits on one amazing CD. When you order Now 7 with your credit card or by check debit, you'll also receive this Now sunglass case absolutely free. Call to complete your collection with Now 7. Don't be the last to get Now 7 with hits from Britney Spears to the Backstreet Boys. To order Now
Now that's what I call music volume seven and you're free. Now sunglass case, call the number on your screen or send $18.98 for CD or $15.98 for cassette plus $4.95 shipping and handling to the address shown. Rush delivery available. Order now. Okay, the hair needed a little change. Nothing crazy. So I picked up new Garnier Lumia Brightening Color Cream. It's different, because it permanently brightens your natural hair color without dramatically changing it. And it was like this <clears throat> for my hair. Not a huge change. Just... Lumia won't dry out your hair, and it smells great. Now I feel boop, boop, be -doop. lasting luminous color. It's you, only brighter. New Garnier Lumia. Garnier. Trust them. They're experts. Well into our 20s here on VH1's Top 40 Hair Bands of All Time, women in metal had never had much success. Yeah, there were a few along the way that touched your heart or ripped it out, but for the most part, metal remained a male-dominated field until a cute little foursome threw everyone for a loop. Vixen. They had bigger hair than all the guys and were almost as pretty as Poison. With Vixen, the boys didn't stand a chance, however. While Poison was singing to the housewives, Vixen had all the guys teetering on the edge of a broken heart. Vixen never went platinum. They never even broke the top ten. It wasn't easy for the all-female band to steal the spotlight in the male-dominated world of metal in the 80s. But in a time when most of the boys were trying to look like girls, none of them could compete with Vixen who flaunted some of the tightest clothes and biggest hair of the era. Dixon's number 23 on our list of top 40 hair bands of all time. They had some of the biggest hair of anybody, guy or girl, I've ever seen. Everybody was competing to have like the highest, the biggest yeah, hair After possible. a while, it just gets ridiculous, you know? You know Truckload you know. of hairspray on the yeah. road. <laughs> the birth of Metal Lilith was Dixon. And they came out with dues as elevated, mullets, female mullets, for days. At least they were women looking like that, because there were just as many guys that were looking like Vixen at the time as well. Yeah, we just ran out of hairspray and went and borrowed theirs. When you looked at Vixen and thought they were all dudes, they looked like Poison and they looked like every, all the other bands. We did get mistaken for Poison once. We did. They even copped a Poison-esque sound on minor hits like Edge of a Broken Heart. But these girls weren't always treated like one of the guys. When we had just come out, we released uh, our record. There was a radio station, and I won't say what city it was in. But the guy came on the air and just looked at our CD and said, Oh, bunch of sluts, without even hearing the music. The fans seemed to really like it a lot. We got a lot of compliments and not just for girls. You know, they'd come back and just say, yeah, you know, the band was great. Attitude, energy. Yeah, it just falls out rock and roll. Rusty Patrici on the drums! I don't think the female bands really even stood a chance against the male bands, and I don't think it's fair to even compare them, because as far as the girls go, they were watching the males for a certain reason. We had our share of groupies. <laughs> they were funny. <laughs> if they came backstage, they were really shy. They just kind of stood there and looked at us. Just Didn't want us to sign their shirts or their, you know. I think their male their groupies chest. are different than women. You know, they don't just drop their pants <laughs> for us. <laughs> Darn it. Nixon wasn't around much in the 90s. These days, the girls may or may not reunite. Either way, as a women-driven hair band in a metal man's era, a girl's influence still burns.
In the mid-80s, Blackie Lawless and his band Wasp shocked the nation like no other artist since Alice Cooper with their outrageous looks, risque lyrics, and demented stage shows. Wasp crashed the scene in 1984 and went on to produce over 15 albums featuring metal classics like Wild Child and I Want to Be Somebody and the timeless animal like a beast. And even though the band never ruled the charts, Wasp's army of fans grew, remaining loyal to this day. Wasp's in at number 22 on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time. They were like straight out heavy metal bandana wearing, chainsaw, crotch, flame, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Extreme with you know, blades and leather and extreme uh, cod pieces and stuff, and taking more of an S&M look and making it heavy metal. I remember my father watching Alice Cooper on TV and looking over at me, and he said, if you ever look like that, I'll kill you. Blackie was more about just making you feel very uncomfortable because it was so rude. It wasn't that feel good, let's up all night, sleep all day kind of a metal. It was dark theater. It was the watermark. This is the spectacle, the big hair, the outfits, just the whole package. They definitely pushed the visual aspect a lot in the 80s, the drinking of the blood, the costumes. Uh, Wasp wasn't really glam-oriented, they were horror-oriented. They tried to intimidate with their looks as opposed to look pretty. Now, I've been asked the question many times, you know, what do you think about shock value and stuff like that? We never looked at shock value, never. It was just fun for us. Wasp continues to rock like a beast in the new millennium with the release of Unholy Terror and the band's shock rock legacy is hardly forgotten. Coming up, Britney Fox crashes a Catholic girls' school. And the Scorpions rock you like a hurricane. Rock you like a hurricane. Cheese with an accent. Next on VH1's Top 40 Hair Bands of All Time. I am Rosemary's granddaughter. Feel the heart in this music. But I for heaven. It's America's music. And it's, well, great. CMT connects you to country. Get connected. Call your cable or satellite provider. Carrot stick. Save big bucks on every call. Dial 1 800 C A L L A T T for collect calls. Can I have your number? Yes. I wish I could have an organic experience. You've never had one? I need intense conditioning. New Herbal Essences Intensive Blends improves hair's condition up to 85%. Let's get new Herbal Essences Intensive Blends. What makes the new Crispy Caesar Twister from KFC more than just another sandwich? It's the chicken. It's a soft, warm tortilla. It's the juiciness. It's the chicken. Filled with ripe tomato shaved Parmesan cheese. <laughs> it's the chicken. Crisp lettuce, crunchy noodles, two crispy all-white meat freshly prepared chicken strips. I told you, it's the chicken. It's hot. All topped with creamy Caesar dressing. It's cool. For a limited time, get a crispy Caesar twister and a Pepsi for just $2.99. All this for $2.99? But don't expect just another sandwich. You're getting a twister. Did you take the plastic wrapper off the cheese? 
They were wrapped? Had a long summer day. Make up for it with a blockbuster night. Enjoy your summer nights by renting one of these big hits now available on DVD at Blockbuster. Unbreakable, Snatch, The Wedding Planner, and Save the Last Dance. Rent them on DVD at Blockbuster, bringing entertainment home all summer long. Heinz tomato ketchup is devious. It works quietly, oftentimes under the cover of a bun. And it will change your food if you don't watch it. Heinz tomato ketchup, not to be trusted. Started with Madonna and it didn't stop. MTV's 20 Years of Pop CD delivers the most essential hits in pop music ever, all on one CD. Featuring TLC, The Backstreet Boys, Christina Aguilera, Weezer. Matchbox 20. Janet Jackson. And more. For more information on these artists, go to MTV.com. MTV's 20 years of pop music. The music never stops. Call 1-800-ASK-TOWER to order now. You have to understand that a lot of these bands were not really great songwriters, but found this enormous success because of the image and the tide of the pop metal scene in the 80s. People, kids, were so hungry for this music that even if you came out with a rather mediocre record, you started to sell. Top 40 hair bands of all time, halfway through our countdown, heading down to the big cheese, the big honcho, the big kahuna, the big hairy guys at number one. Got lots of great music on the way, and next up, the Swedish Bon Jovi, Europe. The hair band trend didn't just affect bands here in the States. Pretty soon, bands all over the world were catching on, and Sweden was no exception. While the image and style overshadowed the music and talents of most of the hair bands, sometimes focusing on their look and clothing helped them get even bigger. And when Europe crossed the pond, American audiences, especially the chicks, ate it up. At number 21 on our list of top 40 hair bands of all time, Europe. They were Sweden's hottest export since ABBA, flaunting ozone depleting hairdos, tiger beat ready looks, and riffs as heavy as, um, a Nerf football. Their third album, The Final Countdown, went on to become the band's biggest, selling over three million copies. After 14 years, fans and critics alike still can't free their minds of this song. Kind of following in the path of We Are the Champions and Rock and Roll Night and Come On Feel the Noise, people don't know that's Europe, it's Europe. It's kind of almost become its own thing associated with sports and arena. Europe concert and they opened and closed with the final countdown and that pretty much to me made them a laughing stock. It's like you guys can't even open and close with different songs, you're opening and closing with your biggest hit. was a song called Carrie. You wanted bands that sold to the girls, and Europe were the epitome of that. So it's have the most gorgeous body in the world. I guess we're lucky that we look good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. If you buy our record, we'll love you, you know, automatically. And if you come to see our concert, we'll love you even more. Yeah, so come to record. our concert and let us love you, because we <laughs> love to love you. <laughs> Europe broke up in 1991, 
but the band will forever be known for bringing a touch of Sweden to American hair metal. It was cheese with an accent. You know, instead of American cheese, now it's Limburger and Camembert. You know, there's a whole variety of cheeses. <laughs> Teenage Rebellion. Hot Chicks. Tight Spandex. Leopard Prince. And music that revved and handled right here on VH1's Top 40 Hair Bands of All Time. D. Snyder here on VH1's Top 40 Hair Bands of All Time. Count down to the highest hair, the most kick-ass outfits, and the best head-banging rock around. Got a lot of great bands coming your way, but first let's get caught up with who's hit the countdown so far. where we've been let's get moving towards the number one hair band on the countdown and the closer we get the more outlandish the bands the images and the lyrics get look in the 80s we tried not to take things too seriously we were just having a good time everyone was having a blast including the scorpions with their fist pumping anthems huge stage shows and token beauties dressed like cat women they took the metal world by storm The Scorpions staged a German invasion in the early 80s, and although they were a little light on top, the band more than compensated with sexy video vixens, controversial album covers, and innuendo-laced rock. Throughout their 30-year career, the band has produced over 20 albums, selling over 20 million copies worldwide. The Scorpions come in at number 20 on our list of top 40 hair bands of all time. Hi, I'm Klaus Meiner. And we, we are, are the Scorpions! Scorpion. Everybody likes to make fun of Klaus's accent and how he talks to the crowd. Hello, Lightning! It's so good to see you tonight! Rock You Like a Hurricane was a Scorpion's breakthrough hit, kicking off the MTV era and providing a video blueprint. It was a pretty wide scene, you know. There were like a couple hundred of girls that were painted all over the body. We wasn't a date where video started. Nobody else did it before, and I think that was a good thing. Music and great drive and craziness, and that's what the song is all about. Here we go. 
They've even classed up their classics with the help of the Berlin Philharmonic. The rock band like the Scorpions playing together with a classical legend, the Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra, was for us very uh, exciting to record them and work with work with this orchestra, this symphonic field. At number 19 on our list of top 40 hair bands of all time, Britney Fox. Their music never hit the top 40, but this guy band with a girl's name took 80s glam to its gender-bending max. I just remember getting this demo from Britney Fox and really having to look at it a couple times to see if there were girls in the band. We all learned how to do our own makeup and all that stuff. I used to get mad at my girlfriend because I could, I could do my face and hair uh, and shave too <laughs> and beat her by that 10 minutes. The first video from the band's 1988 self-titled debut was Girl School. An homage to Catholic school girls that became a hair metal classic. Northeast Philadelphia is just loaded with all girls schools and they wear short skirts. A lot of times they get handed down, so eventually you have girls wearing skirts that are way too short for what they're supposed to be. That was the inspiration for that. These girls breaking out. Sexy girl sitting in class, teacher all, metal ruler, you will not like rock and roll. By the end of the video, the teacher is just as much part of the party as the girl. Yeah, girl. The video's naughty gimmick made that song Britney's biggest hit, and 10 years later, it just might have influenced another Britney. Girl School video was almost a precursor to Britney Spears because it was definitely a Catholic schoolgirl type of vibe going on. Back then, we had Britney Fox. Now you have Britney Spears. It really wasn't that big a difference. It's real sexy, it's hair, it was image, and it was disposable pop music. Our first singer, he claimed some kind of Welsh ancestry, hence the name Brittany Fox. It tied in nicely with the look and the ruffles and all that stuff. They were almost like the Napoleons of hard rock. They were very dressed up. And it got us noticed. Had we come out looking like nothing, we probably would have never got a deal. Today, the band's still rocking out on the road, and they have absolutely no regrets. Excess was the name of the game back then. It was a perfect time to be the rock star. It's like it's ancient Rome and you're Caligula. Up next, Dawkins still rocking. Great White's the poster boys of excess. And Kiss, in one of the worst career moves of all time, decide to shed their makeup and tease their hair. It was a renaissance or resurgence uh, of a brand new band called Kiss. Only on VH1's top 40 hair bands of all time. My VH1 prime time. Free ride. VH1's giving away a BMW Z3 Roadster every night in July. Watch My VH1 prime time every night from 9 to midnight. When this clue appears, go to VH1.com. Enter the artist's name to win a BMW Z3 Roadster. My VH1 prime time. A new kind of prime time. A new BMW every night. Standing room tickets. $14. O's jersey, $130. Crab cake, $7. 12 stadiums down, 18 to go, priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Visit MasterCard.com for a chance to play ball with your best friends at a major league stadium. good as the original. I wish I lived in Wisconsin. The Diet Dr. Pepper is. It tastes more like regular Dr. Pepper. Check it out.
The next generation, Chrysler town and country. You do that? I saw you did. Let's get out of here. With power sliding doors and lift gate with an obstacle detection system. Drive one and see why it's the best minivan ever. Now get a $2,000 cash allowance or 0.9% APR financing on Chrysler town and country. Wendy's makes late nights great nights, serving up your favorites. Hello? Get a Wendy's classic half-pound double with cheese even late, because our pickup window's open late. A big Wendy's thank you goes out to the man in the red minivan. Ah, time to relax. What a time for bad heartburn. Try Extra Strength Mylanta. It works on tough nighttime heartburn fast. So go ahead, relax, if you can. Extra Strength Mylanta. One has the experience. We're not going to get another chance like this. One has the ambition. Hold it right there. Today, Robert De Niro, Edward Norton. When did you start thinking you were smarter than me? The score rated R. Today, in theaters everywhere. Have you looked at your long distance bill lately? Wow. You need Sprint 500 anytime. 500 state to state minutes to use anytime, any day for $25 a month. Sprint 500 anytime, it's a slam dunk. To save, just call 1 800 Pen Drop. Sometimes you just need to brush. Big time. That's why there's Trident gum. Chewing Trident after eating helps fight cavities. Can't brush? Chew on this. You can express your opinion about the environment on your car. Or you can do it with your car. It's America's first gasoline electric hybrid, the Insight from Honda. The most fuel efficient car in the world. The message is sex. So the tops are flying off at the shows. The tour buses have lines around them, like the ice cream truck on a hot summer day waiting for a bicycle. We're hitting the teens here on VH1's top 40 hair bands of all time, and the rock just doesn't stop. And while the hair bands were taking over the world, the girls were following them. The groupie scene hit its peak in the 80s. Not even Led Zeppelin could top the amount of sleaze, raunch, nasty and crazy sex stories that abounded amongst the successful hair bands. Now, I think Led Zeppelin might disagree with that, but don't look at me. I've been married 24 years. I didn't do that by climbing into the hot tub with old Axel. Ha ha! Oh well. And of course, kiss ones who put the X in sex. We talk about groupies. It's fun. It's what makes ex road life exciting for me. In fact, the musical genre that I deal with is called rock and roll. And what that means, it comes from an old Lead Belly song called Let Me Rock and Roll You All Night Long, is a guy trying to convince a girl to spend the night and not to watch television either. Dude, from the stories I've heard, I don't even think Kiss owned a television. And they got the groupies with or without the makeup. Word is, Gene has photos of every chick he's ever been with. And you can buy those photos on kissonline.com for only $50 a piece. Right now, on auction. At number 18 on our list of top 40 hair bands of all time, the hottest band in the world, Kiss. The Brooklyn band started out in the 70s as painted up comic book rock stars, but with the release of their 1983 album, Lick It Up, Kiss wiped off the makeup and hopped on the hair metal bandwagon. Gene traded in his trademark fun for a blowout perm, and Paul let it loose from his head down to his stomach. Kiss is still Kiss. Same sort of energy and drive and commitment to doing everything short of killing ourselves to give people the best show in the world. They were the innovators of the whole scene. They didn't follow it and unfortunately when the makeup came off it made them look more like followers than the leaders that they actually were we didn't feel honest or comfortable with the makeup anymore because in in hindsight the makeup really belonged to the original lineup and if we weren't a good enough band to exist without the makeup then we were ready to face our fate 
it was a renaissance or resurgence uh, of a brand new band called Kiss. The makeup never had anything to do with the bombs or the doing splits or whatever we were doing on stage comes from us. I mean, taking the makeup off doesn't change how we feel. I mean, we're the same people. And they were still big sellers, releasing three platinum albums and scoring big video hits with Tears Are Falling and Heaven's On Fire. Kiss were actually better musicians when they had the makeup off. Uh, Bruce Kulick, Eric Singer, I mean, you really... They were probably some of the most underrated musicians out there at the time because everyone was constantly comparing them to the band in makeup. Three decades and 75 million in sales later, KISS launched a mega tour that they swore would be their last, packing stadiums around the globe. I can hear you party every day. They actually now play the three, almost four generations of audience when they play and do anything from the 70s to the 80s to the 90s. We want to go out while we're still on top. You know, we're going to leave you with something that you're not going to forget. And whether you want to call it hair metal or, you know, you pick the name. I call it entertainment. <laughs> Number 17 on our list of top 40 hair bands of all time, Skid Row. The band's first two albums took the country by storm, selling over 6 million copies and introducing America to the good looks and badass attitude of lead singer Sebastian Bach. Sebastian, just, he's just psycho. Sebastian was this maimed, enormous kind of rock god. You know, this kid's just like six feet six. He had hair for days. I have a problem with anything that's been done 30,000 times. That's why no other lead singer in the world has hair like this. <laughs> the band's in-your-face mix of punk and metal was a recipe for rock and roll rebellion. Since I was born, they couldn't hold me down. Since I was born, they couldn't hold me down. That's everything that arena rock stood for i mean you know just kids going nuts pumping their fists in the air it's like an adrenaline rush it's like a lightning you know bolt going right down your back you know you just get out there and go Wah! of course sebastian's off the hook persona wasn't the only thing that caught people's attention who from that era will ever forget Rachel Boland's nose ring the earring connection. Psychotherapy, psychotherapy, psychotherapy. The band never catered to mainstream expectation. If you allow yourself to become a slave to what people expect, then what's the fun? You know, that's that's not what rock and roll's about. Skid Row had this unbelievable looking front man and wrote really strong songs. There was no gimmick to Skid Row. The people that like Skid Row respect us for being like honest about everything, you know, and playing music that is honest and, you know, not a big scam or a big front. And a second album that debuted at number one. Their songs were heavy enough to kick the shit out of someone too, and their ballads were tender enough to make out with your girlfriend too. I mean, there was just nothing about this band that wasn't done perfectly. In 1996, Sebastian Bach went solo, and Skid Row has reformed with a new singer and drummer. But diehard fans still hope the original lineup will get back together. If there's a band right now that could reunite and matter in the year 2001, it would be Skid Row because they still have that pomposity, that big rock and roll in capital letters that, you know, could almost give Guns N' Roses a run for their money. Coming up, Rat makes it. It's hot and heavy with a guitar. <laughs> it ain't no big thing. And White Lion gets experimental. We kind of became almost 
the guinea pig, the scapegoat, more hair, more color, more girls, more chicks. Next on VH1's Top 40 Hair Bands of All Time. From the network that brings you behind the music comes a new series, VH1 Bands on the Run. This is behind the music while it happens. Four bands. This band means so much to me. Struggling to make it. I'm going to go have to pour myself to go sell merchandise. We are lazy. I want to work like an hour a week. I just want to get laid. The plan is to get really drunk. I don't remember too much. Only one band will become famous. I really... Oh, Cracker's going to win. Really? I'm going to win. We just want to be number two. Really want to win. Bands on the Run. This is groundbreaking. The battle continues Sundays at 10, 9 central, right after the real behind the music. Sponsored by Volkswagen. Okay, Vegas. Austin. Tulsa. Vegas, honey. Yuma. And Austin. Straw Kids. What y'all doing? Just out here checking these old fences. Yeah, me too. Hey, is that a dollar? Yeah, it's on my side of the fence. <laughs> Wrong. That's on my side. No, that's on my side. It is on my side. <laughs> guys, on, look. guys, it's just a buck. Oh, yeah, with 10, 10, 2, 20, all calls up to 20 minutes are only 99 cents. 20 minutes for 99 cents? And just 7 cents a minute? After 20. Wow, that's cheap. Guess he had to make a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> call me. Dial 10, 10, 2, 20. To the starboard side of the boat, you'll see the natural habitat of the snow crab. Now, an interesting fact about certain species of crab is that they can be stuffed into two marinated portobello mushrooms and drizzled with a light honey mustard for blog sauce. You're, uh, you're not the regular guide, are you? No, actually, I'm a chef at Red Lobster. I, I just do this for fun. Ladies and gentlemen, Red Lobster, we love preparing crab in fresh ways. So come in now for our festival of crab. Enjoy crab portobello, crab cob salad, and more, all at friendly prices. Red Lobster, go overboard. Are you open? Open to the new spirit of hair color? Introducing Open, the first soft permanent color gel by L'Oreal with low ammonia and botanical conditioners for soft touch hair. Get Open, vibrantly natural color gel by L'Oreal Paris. From Beverly Hills to Harvard's Halls. You got into Harvard Law? What, like a tarp? Elle Woods does everything in style. I object. Reese Witherspoon is... Elle Woods, attorney. Legally Blonde, rated PG-13. Now playing at theaters everywhere. Presenting the all-new Mercury Mountaineer with a brilliant third-row seat. Fold it down and it disappears, yielding a cavernous amount of cargo space. Raising it produces an SUV that seats seven adults comfortably for the most third-row leg and headroom in its class. The Mercury Mountaineer. Ingenuity built cities. Now it brings you an SUV. Starting under 30,000, test drive it at your local Mercury dealer today. about time for the perfect 90s rock collection it's non-stop 90s rock packed with the hugest hits of the decade you can't get this incredible collection in any store you survived the 90s now take the best of it with you you can order this collection online at musicspace.com don't be a slacker get non-stop 90s rock now to order call the number on your screen or log on to musicspace.com sitting out on the bus with Jack Russell and he looks out the window of the bus and there's like five or six girls just standing there and he goes bud it's time for a little pre-game show and I said well I'm gonna get off the bus he goes that's cool I'll see you in a little while I get off the bus he sticks his head out the bus door and he does this and the first girl gets on the bus 
and you see him smile at me and he walks to the back of the bus. Half hour later, Jack emerges, the girl emerges, and she's all like giddy from her experience. And he sticks his finger out the door again and he does the come hither. And the second girl in line hops on the bus Getting pretty hairy with our countdown here. The Aquanet residue is building up. Lots more great music and wild outfits and crazy antics on the way. Now, part of the whole mystique of the hairband era was the sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And believe me, there was plenty of reckless abandon to be had. You looking at me? I was clean and sober, for God's sakes. Anyway, great whites next. And as you heard from Juan, there was plenty of action happening off stage. They were notorious for their excessive behavior, and they're not afraid to tell all. Big dudes, tight pants. Great White's image was strictly by the book, but the band's bluesy, Zeppelin-inspired sound scored more critical acclaim than most hair metal groups, and huge record sales, too. They're number 16 on our list of top 40 hair bands of all time. Just great blues-based rock and roll. That's what Great White was. They reminded everybody what it meant to play the blues, but to play the blues with balls. They, like anyone, got sucked into the look and the image of the 80s. Hair techs. Yeah. Hair techs. <laughs> oh, okay. Long hair, <laughs> lots of makeup, tight pants. I think all of us probably own stock in Aquanet. I think the hair and the clothes all melded into that whole concept of excess. But style wasn't the only thing excessive about Great White. I was the poster child for excess. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I've been arrested 53 times. I've been face down the dirt more times than I even like to remember. They ranged from like, you know, urinating in a rose bush to uh, fornicating with my girlfriend on my parents' roof. I mean, this is like weird stuff. You know, I'm up there, you know, having a good time. The cops fly over in a helicopter, right? My luck, right? But these bad boys were all business in the studio. Their cover of Ian Hunter's Once Bitten, Twice Shy hit number five in 1989 and earned them a Grammy nod for best hard rock performance. Great White did a magnificent cover of that track, and they added the elements of the girls. This is the first time you see Bobby Brown before her cherry pie appearance. Jack waves the girls in. Come on, girl. Let's sing. You're all going to get nailed by the band after the shoot. No problem. These days, instead of fishing for women, Great White is fishing for Marlin. Rock and roll is my life, but I live to fish. Oh, God. The band's still in the studio, too. They recorded a tribute to Led Zeppelin in 1999 and have updated... Lita Ford first gained notoriety in the 70s, playing with Joan Jett in the all-girl group The Runaways. But in the 80s, Lita went solo. Her hair got bigger, her wrists got harder, and her clothes got tighter. Her videos are visual time capsules of sexy, leather-clad 80s fashion. But she wasn't all image. Her shredding guitar solos made her one of the great guitar goddesses in rock history. Lita Ford's number 15 on our list of top 40 hair bands of all time. I went to a party last Saturday night. I did a good man. I got in a fight. Lita Ford was as close to there being a female guitar hero as we've ever had. Uh -huh. Say female hair band, boom, leave. The big blonde hair, those cool looking BC Rich guitars. Oh, this is the goddess now singing. Pay attention to us. Our heart has been broken. You broke it. I like to see women that, that play, you know, the, the videos that have women in them that play the guitars and uh, women on the drums and, you know, doing things instead of just shaking their skirts around. She was a real hero to a lot of women and she turned on a lot of guys. When you have it all and you've crossed over, what do you do for an encore? Baby, I get so scared inside and I don't really understand. And then she did the track with Ozzy, which was awesome. Lita hasn't given up on her music yet. 
She released a live album in 2000, but she longs for the time when hair bands ruled the airwaves. There was some great music in the 1980s. Powerful, earth-shattering, guitars, blistering music. White Lion had all the ingredients of a killer hair band. A sexy front man, a Dayglo wardrobe, and lots and lots of hair. Not to mention two top ten hits and a double platinum album in the late 80s. They're at number 14 on our list of top 40 hair bands of all One of the more dynamic front men of the era. Uh... Some of the greatest musicians were in these bands, and they didn't get the recognition they deserved because of the way they looked. We just fell into a time where videos exploded. So we kind of became almost the guinea pig, the scapegoat. More hair, more color, more girls. The hair got bigger, and the, the shirts got frillier, and the spandex got tighter. Competition was Diamond Dave. Well, you better make sure that you can live up to that. They were very much based on a Van Halen principle where it was the good looking front man up front and the laid back guy. Rock star at heart. I live rock and roll till the day I die. That's the music I play, that's the only music I know, and that's what I do. To rock. White Snake's sex kitten tawny gets your engines fired up. And the dancing madman, Kip Winger and his band, tries to make a sale. Honestly, the it, it gets a little frustrating when, when people focus on your looks. But I mean, I was out there selling that too. So. You know, I can't blame anyone for that. Right here on VH1's Top 40 Hair Bands of All Time. Sam Adams, have you tasted America's world-class beer? There's a place where the sun always shines and folks love a good meal. It's got to be Applebee's. Good in the neighborhood. Summer salads are in the air. We're tossing oriental chicken with crunchy almonds and tangy dressing. Or dive into new salads like garlic-crusted shrimp Caesar. And for a limited time, the Steakhouse. 11 ounces of sirloin with crispy greens and blue cheese only at Applebee's. And check out Applebee's new menu items like the appetizer sampler. That's eating good. 252 horsepower. 3.9 liter, 32 valve V8. Four-wheel independent suspension and traction control. The Americans are coming. The Americans are coming. Announcing 0% financing on every single 2001 Lincoln, low lease rates, and Lincoln will even make your first payment. The LS from Lincoln. Critics are calling Robert De Niro, Edward Norton, Angela Bassett, and Marlon Brando. One of the most amazing casts ever assembled. Gene Shalit says, the score is a winner. Larry King calls it a keeper with a switch that will blow you away. The score, rated R, starts today. You know, most wireless plans offer you like a bucket full of minutes, but if you take a close look inside, you can't even see the weekday minutes. Oh, well, no, oh, there they are. Oh, wait a minute. Hello, little no, no, minutes. The most whenever minutes, only from voice mm. stream. Once, there was a little prince who was very fussy. Then, his mom tried a warm bath with Johnson's bedtime bath. The scent of lavender filled the air, and the little prince settled down. Johnson's bedtime bath. Okay, the hair needed a little change. Nothing crazy. So I picked up new Garnier Lumia Brightening Color Cream. It's different, because it permanently brightens your natural hair color without dramatically changing it. And it was like this... for my hair. Not a huge change, just... 
Lumia won't dry out your hair, and it smells great. Now I feel purple, speedo, lasting luminous color. It's you, only brighter. New Garnier Lumia. Garnier. Trust them, they're experts. Don't work. For men, every morning it's the same routine. The desperate search for a way to relieve the pain after shaving. Goodbye, babe. Finally, there's a better way to soothe your skin. New Nivea for Men Aftershave Balm is an advanced blend of moisturizers and vitamins that soothe and actually improve your skin. Nivea Aftershave Balm. More evolved skin care. Let's get set. Wouldn't it be great to fly the family to Orlando and go on a theme park a -thon? You can go to Priceline.com for airfare and a hotel room, then take all the dough you saved and visit Movie Studio Land and see family-friendly, death-defying stunts, people in animal suit land, and watch performing plushies, and friendly marine creature land, and witness the wonders of the briny deep. And then, if the super smart dolphins asked you how you did so much and spent so little, you'd say it's called the wonderful world of discount. Nice car, what is it? Oh, my new Kia Optima. Should have got a Toyota Camry. I got leather seats. Me too. Yeah, moonroof? Uh, yeah. V6 engine? With Sportmatic transmission. Five year warranty. Oh, no. Ha! Ten year. And I paid 5,000 less than you. Huh. The Kia Optima midsize sedan. Get 3.9% financing through July 31st. Dual front seat mounted side airbag? Got it! <laughs> Redden here on the top 40 hair bands of all time, getting cheesier by the minute as we're shimmying into the pre-teens on our countdown. One of the most important musical elements for guaranteed hair band success was the guitar solo. Six strings shredding, stroking the axe, fondling the fretboard, jerking your gherkin, whatever you want to call it, every guitarist had to have their moment in the spotlight. Now, from a lead singer's point of view, I love the guitar solo. Gave me a chance to get off stage and take a break while the guitar players musically masturbated for the crowd. Add a sex kitten to ride around during the solos, and you couldn't go wrong with White Snake. At number 13 on our list of top 40 hair bands of all time, White Snake, led by lion haired and always fashionable David Coverdale. For one hot second, they were one of the biggest bands in the rock universe. Their 1987 self-titled album shot straight to number two on the charts, sold over 10 million copies, and supplied the song of that summer. It didn't hurt that Coverdale's wife at the time, Tawny Katane, came along for the ride. Tawny Katane came and got me, made me weak in the knees, made my blood turn to wine. It's a very heady experience. Their songs are really strong, and they have some images embedded in the popular culture that will never disappear. Mainly Tawny Katane riding around on the hood of a car. Everybody knew her. I mean, she was a very powerful figure on MTV back then. During their MTV domination, White Snake never underestimated the importance of their own good looks. We feel that uh, when the audience pays to come to see you have to dress a little bit fancier than when they see you on the street My because you, know, you want to give them your money's worth a little production more hairspray when they blew up david coverdale happened to have you know bigger hair than anyone out there i think at the end of the day white snake were just a rock and roll band that got unfortunately pigeonholed by a bad hairdressing decision we had three levels of hairdo we had uh, lobby hair, which is you come down to the lobby, meet the fans, and sign autographs. And then you had your arena hairdo, which was kind of like bigger. And then you had your stadium hairdo, which was like this big. So give me all your love tonight. The band went their separate ways in the late 90s. The guys are all working on their own projects these days, including Coverdale, who's now rocking solo but the band will always be remembered for one or two things. Those videos define that era. You know, the car, the hair, the girl, I mean, all the tasty bits, you know? I mean, and the songs, too. Formed in 1986, and by the time the late 80s rolled around, the band was everywhere, thanks to a huge debut album, two hit rock songs, and one inescapable power ballad. Winger's number 12 on a list of top 40 hair bands of all time. 
Well, Winger was a really fun band because we were really focused on musicianship and we got lumped into the quote 80s band category which was fine because we had a great time doing it but the band quickly became the brunt of everyone's jokes winger would have to be the quintessential hair band right wow that's tough i mean there was some poodle rock going on there what's really great about winger is here success came to a really good guy Kip Winger, a great looking guy, a guy who paid his dues by playing bass behind Alice Cooper, a guy that wrote some really strong songs. Here's the unfortunate part. He became, because of Beavis and Butthead, everything that was absurd and wrong with the 80s metal scene. Stuart House! That guy really dead? <laughs> he became like the poster boy for absurdity. And that's too bad, because 17 was another one of those kind of cheesy anthems, but a really good song. Honestly, the it, it gets a little frustrating when, when people focus on your looks, but I mean, I was out there selling that too. So, you know, I can't blame anyone for that. No one, but they did get involved in that 80s look and the 80s hair thing very much. The band faded away in the mid-90s, but Kip Winger's still making music. He's released two solo albums, and he's still defending the band's legacy. We were just four musicians that came together and wanted to do a really cool band, but a lot of people that were kind of prejudiced against certain bands, and we were one of them, never did see us live, you know, maintain that prejudice to this day, I think. Coming up... Dawkins got the look. Try so hard to make you see. And Slaughter's got rock and roll creed on man. Man, did. Stephen Piercy had that look where he almost, I think, was trying to be like a rat. He had the hair that was like a clump that hung over his face where he's just kind of peeking out from under it. Next on Top 40 Hair Bands of All Time. I feel a lot of people think our band is cursed. Pete drinks himself out of the band. This is my band, no, this is our band. Rick nearly kills himself. And all this crap with me. If he keeps abusing himself like this, he's going to die. All right, so I get it. I'm an addict. Hysteria, the Death Leopard story, a VH1 original movie featuring Anthony Michael Hall and Amber Valletta. Rock and roll! Premieres Wednesday at 9, 8 central. Wednesdays, home of movies that rock. What are little girls made of? Sugar. Bye. The all-wheel drive Subaru Forester, sport utility top, car easy. So, what are you made of? Now you can get financing as low as 2.9% APR on all 2001 models. Feel the power. You're on the edge. You're racing head-to-head -head against NASCAR's best drivers. Oh, yeah. This is heat. NASCAR heat. Pushing your PlayStation 2 into overdrive. Rusty Wallace says it's the best NASCAR game ever. The only game where NASCAR drivers dare you to compete in challenges they actually faced. They designed it. Now you're racing it on PlayStation 2. Oh, yeah. This is heat. NASCAR heat. Rated E for everyone. There's a place where the sun always shines and folks love a good meal. It's got to be Applebee's. Good in the neighborhood. Summer salads are in the air. We're tossing oriental chicken with crunchy almonds and tangy dressing. Or dive into new salads like garlic crusted shrimp Caesar. And for a limited time, the Steakhouse. 11 ounces of sirloin with crispy greens and blue cheese only at Applebee's. And check out Applebee's new menu items like the appetizer sampler. That's eating good. 
I'm going to make an amazing lawyer. Welcome to Harvard. Beauty and brains. I have a 4.0. Why? There ought to be a law. A habeas corpus. What? Evidentiary support. Come again. Don't ask. Legally Blonde with PG-13. Now playing. I wish I could have an organic experience. You've never had one? I need intense conditioning. New Herbal Essences Intensive Blends improves hair's condition up to 85%. New Herbal Essences Intensive Blends. Dude, what are you doing? Looking for change? What? You don't need change. Just pick up the phone and dial 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -T. Say with me. C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -T. Save big bucks on every call. Dial 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T -T for collect calls. Got a plate in my head. When Lance Barton discovered he was dead... This is heaven. You killed me! You could have been a vegetable! I like vegetables! Heaven you know sent him back. People? Yes! I got a body! Chris Rock. Take a tag of woods, y'all. Down to Earth. Rent it today. Get ready to move. It's time to submit to the rhythm with Pulse. Two CDs or two cassettes of non-stop throbbing energy. You can't get this 30-track collection in any store. Can order this collection online at musicspace.com. Feel the pulse and get it now. To order, call the number on your screen or log on to musicspace.com. The lifestyle of the 80s metal scene was. It was Sunset Boulevard on a Saturday night. Bodies strewn over cars, clad in leather and studs. Top here on VH1's top 40 hair bands of all time. Got the top 10 biggest hair bands on the way. More cheese, more chicks, more hot bands. You know, my band Twisted Sister was one of the few that originated right here on the East Coast, specifically New York City, the place that never sleeps. But in the early to mid 80s, LA was a hot spot for metal and specifically hair metal. The Sunset Strip, the Whiskey A Go Go, Gazaris, the Rainbow, all places where some of the biggest stars in rock got their start. And if you were out there, you know it was a big, wild party. You had all kinds in LA. You had pretty boys with the frills and fringe and down boys with the leather and tats. But no matter how you look at it, they all had the hair. But most importantly, man, they had the hits. In at number 11 on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time, Rat. They were one of the first bands to make an impact on the hair metal scene. It was all about frontman Stephen Piercy's notoriously flipped hairdo, Warren Demartini's manic guitar solos, and the band's fashion sense. Contagious hits like Round and Round and Wanted Man helped Rat sell over 3 million copies of their debut album, Out of the Cellar. That was a hugely influential band. If you think about Bon Jovi's first real tour was opening for Rat. They were leaders, and they had all the elements too. They had this kind of arrogant, sexy frontman, guitar hero, great drummer, tons of hair. Don't, don't, don't get I remember meeting Steven Tyler in 84, and um, he was like, rat, rat, right? right. And, yeah, and he's going, dude, you made it, you made it. And round and round, look, right? You know, he goes, the only thing is, man, you got to rat your hair out more. And he, he's just like going like this. And like, <laughs> okay. So the big hair, I was just following orders. You know? <laughs> Steven Piercy had that look where he almost I think was trying to be like a rat. Like, he had this kind of rodent 
Bond-esque type of movement and quality to him. He had the hair that was like a clump that hung over his face, where he's just kind of peeking out from under it. But it wasn't all image. The band had musical chops too, putting out three more albums that all went platinum. Right now. Right now. Rat to me was always a musical band. You know, Warren was an amazing guitar player, Bobby's an amazing drummer. Juan Crucier was one of the best bass players of, of the era, you know what I mean? Piercy was that front guy, you know, he had the whole thing. They dressed really funny. <laughs> I define rat and roll music as a different breed of animal, uh, nice and nasty, safe sleaze. Uh, it's fun. It's interesting fun. Rat's music eventually came to epitomize metal in the 80s. Honestly, today as it was back then, you know. These days, Rat's lineup has changed, but their attitude hasn't. They're kicking as much ass today as they were in the 80s. I'm here for the run. I'm doing this on 70, so. You know, round and round. You know, rat and roll for life, you know. It's, it's a sentence, a good sentence, though. Crazy stage antics. And baby, talk to this me. Matching white leather. Spiked hair. Sliced threads. And music that makes you bang your head righteously. It's like a page right out of your friggin' yearbook right here on VH1's Top 40 Hair Bands of All Time. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Hey, D. Snyder here on VH1's Top 40 Hair Bands of All Time. Count down to the hottest hair, most knocked down, drag out outfits, and most fist pumping, chest thumping, ass shaking, Rock around. Heading into the top 10 hair bands on the countdown. Still got lots of great artists coming your way, but first let's get caught up with who's made the countdown so far. Only 10 more artists left. Think you know who's number one? Don't know how to figure it out, huh? Well, we've only got 10 bands left, and they all have huge hair, crazy outfits, big stage shows, and music that helped take the metal to the masses. Now, whose hair was the highest? It was a battle to the hairspray aisle. Now, I keep hearing about this Aquanet. Aquanet schmaquanet. I don't need no stinking Aquanet. I had the real deal, baby. That hair, every single bit. I invented big hair. I am Mr. Big Hair. But I digress. Let me tell you about Dokken. Dokken had all the musical elements and didn't have to follow the trends. But as you'll see, they just couldn't help themselves. At number 10 on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time, Dokken. Fueled by the intense power of George Lynch's guitar, the scorching vocals of frontman Don Dokken, and a series of way out there videos, 
the band was pre-programmed for 80s glory. By the end of the 80s, they already scored three platinum albums and millions of fans who shared their love of hairspray and cosmetics. It was an androgynous looking band, Doc, it was. That's, I mean, that's, everybody knows that. You got eye makeup more than your mom ever thought about wearing. And if your hair wasn't stacked to the sky, I mean, you were just not there. That was what you had to be. You had to have an androgynous singer in the 80s, period. I mean, I don't know any bands. I can't name one band in the 80s that made it that didn't have a feminine looking androgynous, uh, you, you name one. Culture Club looks aside, Dokken made quite an impression with their flashy and sometimes confusing videos. None of it made any sense. All right, you guys do this now. You're firemen. Now you're going to swing over here, and there's a monster. Okay, now, there you are. You know, and it's, it's okay, that was great. You know, we loved it. I remember the video for Breaking the Change because that was pretty ridiculous in the set. I remember George Lynch being tied to the stone wall in handcuffs. The Dream Warriors, the theme to the second sequel in the Nightmare on Elm Street series. The video even starred Freddy Krueger. <laughs> not your band. It was an actor. But um, it was a real good thing for us, and uh, doing the video was just hysterical, and Robert Englund was a real swell guy. <laughs> the good times didn't last, and Lynch left the band to pursue a solo career. But Dawkins still carries on playing live and taking time to reflect on the past. My biggest happiness in that band was the respect we got from the other bands. You know, it wasn't just a bunch of guys. Slaughter got together in 1988 with one goal in mind, to be huge. The band's dreams came true in 1990 when their debut album, Stick It To You, went double platinum thanks to hits like Up All Night and Fly To The Angels. Two years later, their second record, The Wildlife, hit the top 10 and sold over a million copies. Slaughter's number nine on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time. You got this cute guy shaking it. You're a girl. Go out and buy that record. Go to that show. I'm gonna get all worked up. I'm gonna get in the front row. Mark Slaughter's gonna sweat on me. And keep me up all night. Because tomorrow I can sleep all day. Slaughter had this big hair that was always in their face, but I guess the girls saw through it because they love Slaughter. <laughs> I'm sure they still do to this day. How could they resist with all that hair and one piercing falsetto? I know there's hair bands and it becomes this whole thing of, oh, they're a hair band. Well, you know, we were a band, we had hair, and therefore we are a hair band. Problem was, most people focused on the hair, not the music. They had the appearance that a lot of bands really wished they could have. I mean, they were, they were good-looking guys. They also had the music to back up their sales. And I think that was something that got overlooked by a lot of people. I think that the 80s and the whole rock and the hair was one thing, but it was still about the songs. It was still about what was in your heart. Slaughter continued to record throughout the 90s. In 1998, guitarist Tim Kelly died in a car accident. The following year, the band released their first full-length live CD, 1998's Eternal Live, as a tribute to Tim's memory. Now into the next decade, Slaughter's still out there doing what they love best. We're just a rock band. We love to rock. And it's not about your hair or your makeup. It's about uh, the music. See ya. Up next, Quiet Riot will drive you mad. Jeff Leppard invents a fashion craze. Oh, I've got nothing better to tear off a sleeve or razor blade these things up until they're just falling apart. And finally, the number one hair band on the countdown, right here on VH1's Top 40 Hair Bands of All Time. All this week on my VH1 Primetime, it's Monsters of Rock Week. This can't happen. Rock and roll! Sunday. It's the premiere of Behind the Music, Green Day. This is where I've always wanted to be. Monsters of Rock Week, every night at 9, only on VH1.
This isn't just an ordinary day. This is the best hair day of my life. I just use amazing new Clairol Renewal 5X with its five fabulous conditioning agents. Now my hair is stronger, shinier, and 88% healthier. Can you believe this hair? Now I'm going to the board meeting, and I don't even work here. She shampooed her way to the top. New Clairol Renewal 5X shampoos and conditioners. Why just shampoo when you can renew? For $200, there's the half tape. What makes the new Crispy Caesar Twister from KFC more than just another sandwich? It's the chicken. It's a soft, warm tortilla. It's the juiciness. It's the chicken. Filled with ripe tomato shaved Parmesan cheese. Sir, it's the chicken. Crisp lettuce, crunchy noodles, two crispy all-white meat freshly prepared chicken strips. I told you, it's the chicken. It's hot. All topped with creamy Caesar dress is cool. For a limited time, get a crispy Caesar twister and a Pepsi for just $2.99. All this for $2.99? But don't expect just another sandwich. You're getting a twister. I run this operation down to the smallest detail. You're the boss. Today, some things are not what they seem. Hold it right there. Robert De Niro, Edward Norton. This is over now. It's not over yet. The score, rated R. Today, everywhere. Have you looked at your long distance bill lately? Wow. You need Sprint 500 anytime. 500 safe to safe minutes to use anytime, any day for $25 a month. Sprint 500 anytime, it's a slam dunk. To save, just call 1 800 Pen Drop. Hey, Dan, how about that conference call tomorrow? Mm. It just doesn't feel right to me. Whatever happened to FaceTime? Somebody should go to Cleveland. I'll go. This wouldn't have anything to do with Holiday Inn Express double points. No. What? That's double... That's... I don't... Wow. Okay, I, I... I don't even know where that came from. When I get back from Cleveland, we'll talk. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Miller. How's the vacation planning going, Dad? Great. Ah, just the two of us. No kids, no house, no worries. Change your search without using the back button. Another way Expedia makes it easy to find the trip you're looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, Expedia.com. Sam Adams, have you tasted America's world-class beer? There really was no consciousness to this whole era. I mean, their individual circumstances where bands were really, really conscious of the music they were writing and, and how they were touching their fans. And, you know, those are the bands that are around now in 2001. Those are the bands like Bon Jovi and Def Leppard, who you can still go to an arena and see. But where are the others? Top 40 hair bands of all time breaking out and busting loose as we approach the number one hair band on our countdown. Now, Def Leppard were the kings of fashion in the 80s. Ripped t-shirts, sliced up jeans, and fringe all over. But sometimes when you're that fashionably conscious, you lose consciousness of everything else. My well, bollocks fell out once. I was playing the acoustic. Can you remember that? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. We, I had no idea I had these jeans on. This thing's in the 80s or something. We're playing the round <laughs> in Canada. You sure they were the shorts? No, oh, I, 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 remember, I distinctly remember. And there's all these people pointing at me. And, I'm, and I look down, and there's just my jeans are just ripped, like, <laughs> all, all the way there. And they were just hanging out. And I had no idea. And I, the rest of the night, I'm like, really self conscious, you know, crossing my legs. <laughs> kind of cool. That same thing happened to my guitarist, J.J. French. His velvet pants split open, his sack dropped out like an egg yolk. It looked like a mini speed bag hanging out there. From that day forward, I wore tights underneath my spandex pants, I swear. Well, Def Leppard was known not only for their fashion, their music and stage shows provided fans with full-on assault of the senses.
Formed in 1977, these Brits fueled the fire of the hairband era. With their trend-setting style, hockey haircuts, and a slew of arena rock anthems that exploded into pop blockbusters. Joe Elliott cultivated the mullet. He was the guy who had a mullet going, and he also had a lot of people that took that look from him with the short on the side and the, and the real long in the back. Well, actually, all the way through the 80s, we were very responsible for inventing our own fashion. But I've got nothing better to just tear off a sleeve here or raise a blade these things up so they're just falling apart. Just to look different from everybody else. <laughs> Their laid-back image and radio-ready sound helped the band go from metalhead pinups to mainstream pop stars. We attract a lot of female audience, or did back in the 80s, because we were A, young, not the ugliest band in the world, and lyrically, it was very much the guy singing to the girl. The band's seminal album, Pyromania and Hysteria, sold over 21 million copies, securing Def Leppard's place as one of the biggest bands of the 80s. There are so many albums that come out that just change the face of rock and roll. And I think that Pyromania was one of those albums that came out and did that. It was a very well-produced album, but at the same time, it still had all the rough, raw, pop, energy, rock, wonderful songs. Radio played the crap out of it. I mean, who didn't love Pyromania? Def Leppard made some of the finest metal records. When you heard a Def Leppard record, it was so perfect. There was not one minute moment that wasn't taken care of on that record. Still together after 24 years in the biz, the band survived countless trends and continues to be a driving force in rock. There's plenty of time for us to become hip again. We don't give up on the first time we get sand kicked in our face, go running off to mummy. We just turn around and kick it back and, and say, up yours and get on with it and come back stronger. They started out in 1975. Eight years later, Quiet Riot made history when they became the first heavy metal band to have a number one album on the charts. 1983's Metal Health went multi-platinum and scored two larger-than-life hits with Bang Your Head and Come On, Feel the Noise. Quiet Riot's number seven on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time. Quiet Riot is the first band to ever have a heavy metal record go to number one on the Billboard charts and probably the band to go away as quick as that album showed up. Turns out the band's ride to the top was anything but smooth. The record company, the producer, they wanted us to do a certain kind of record. And it was fought all the way. They wanted to change the name of the band. They wanted to change the look of the album, the look of the band. They wanted us to get haircuts. But the band refused, and their luscious locks went down in the hair metal hall of fame. I tend to always remember Frankie with the big mane of black hair, and I think he had the skull and crossbones on his T-shirt. For me, it was standard Italian poodle hair. You find any New York Italian, he's got black curly hair, and if you layer it and put bands on it, it's a poodle. Rhinestone collar or not, it is a poodle. Thanks to massive exposure on MTV, the band was writing the book on 80s style. And we saw fans out there that were all wearing bandanas and striped things and a Target shirt like Rudy would wear. It was definitely a fashion statement, maybe a cheesy one, but it was a fun one. But there are some times the band would rather forget. And there's still a couple of things that make me square when I see it, such as the licking the bass and stuff like that. But let me tell you something, that was honest. I did it because I couldn't help myself. In 1988, the lineup that made Quiet Riot famous went their separate ways. But nine years later, they were back to making noise and banging heads. They're still doing all the trademark stuff. And that's what they should be doing because they're Quiet Riot and that's what they're known for and there's nothing wrong with that. Coming up, Quarant makes a model famous. Sweet Cinderella's Eric Whittingham wins the award for the best hair. I didn't know if it was real or not. When I first met him, I was like, wow, dude, you got some great, is that hair, real hair? And it was like the best palm tree. 
and the top three hair bands on the countdown. Next on VH1's Top 40 Hair Bands of All Time. Rick was, was 15 when he joined the band. By the time he was 19, we was one of the biggest rock bands in the world. All he wanted to do was play drums and drive a fast car. The arm has to be amputated. Doctor, I'm a drummer. Hysteria, the Def Leppard story. A VH1 original movie featuring Anthony Michael Hall and Amber Valletta. Premieres Wednesday at 9, 8 central. Wednesdays, home of movies that rock. Sponsored by Jurassic Park 3. This summer... They just set a trap. They actually set a trap. Universal Pictures brings you closer than you've ever been before. Nobody move a muscle. On July 18th... Head for the tree! It's not just a walk in the park. Park 3, rated PG-13, at theaters Wednesday. NASCAR's best drivers. Oh, yeah. This is heat. NASCAR heat. Pushing your PlayStation 2 into overdrive. Rusty Wallace says it's the best NASCAR game ever. The only game where NASCAR drivers dare you to compete in challenges they actually faced. They designed it. Now you're racing it on PlayStation 2. Oh, yeah. This is heat. NASCAR heat. Rated E for everyone. There's a place where the sun always shines and folks love a good meal. It's got to be Applebee's. Good in the neighborhood. Summer salads are in the air. We're tossing oriental chicken with crunchy almonds and tangy dressing. Or dive into new salads like garlic crusted shrimp cedar. And for a limited time, the steakhouse. 11 ounces of sirloin with crispy greens and blue cheese only at Applebee's. And check out Applebee's new menu items like the appetizer sampler. That's eating good. If you thought 2020 vision was perfect, ask your eye care professional about the AccuView 2 contact lens. 7 out of 10 who wear it see better than 2020. AccuView, advancing the science of sight. You know what I love about a Tic Tac? They're perfect. Not too big or too small. Only one and a half calories. And just the right amount of mints. So you can breathe friendly. Very friendly. Tic Tac, breathe friendly. It's wet hot, it's non-stop, it's the most explosive collection of smashed dance mixes ever. Totally dance. Take the party with you no matter where you go, with the only album that matters. Totally dance. Includes scorching mixes from Dream, Pink, Faithless, Serena Paris, Dido, Tony Braxton, Eden Crush, Delirium featuring Sarah McLachlan, Moby, and more. The only collection that'll keep you moving all summer long and well beyond. Featuring Trick Daddy, Joy Enrique, Tamia, Gigi D'Agostino, French Affair, Rui De Silva, Kleptomaniac, and more. Totally hot, totally wild. Totally dance. Call now and order the best dance collection ever. Only 1898 CD, 1598 cassette. Totally dance. Yo, baby, take it to the house. Come on, baby. Top 40 hair bands of all time. Inch by inch, step by step, spritz by spritz. Pfft, we're getting ever so close to the number one hair band on the countdown. Wonder who that might be. Now, another ingredient in the recipe for making a hair band successful was a stage show. Alice Cooper and Kiss kicked the whole thing off. The 80s bands took 
the ball and ran with it. The fans wanted a show that was larger than life. They wanted every dollar they spent on that ticket in the show. You spent $15 on a ticket, you got $15.25 worth of show. Big lights, lasers, huge mascots lumbering around the stage, lots of crazy antics, guitar twirling, you name it, picks exploding. Fans made sure you got the best bang for your buck. The synchronized head banging, matching outfits, and glitzy light shows, Warrant was one band that did not disappoint, unless you weren't a Warrant fan. At number six on our list of top 40 hair bands of all time, Warrant. The band scored off the charts in 80s style, with all that white leather and great loads of hairspray. Warren took sexual innuendo to another level with their hit Cherry Pie, creating one of the most memorable video babes of all time. Official sex cheese video of the, of the 80s. And the reason is two words, Bobby Brown. <laughs> there was never a more blatant sexual metaphor in any video or song than Cherry Pie. I mean, Cherry, the Cherry. Pie. It's below your waist and above your knee. <laughs> it is as brilliant as sleaze has ever been. Warren didn't have to rely on buxom babes to be a successful hair band. Lead singer Janie Lane's Baby Blues also helped shoot the band's hit power ballad, Heaven, straight to number two on the Billboard pop charts. Got a picture of your house, and you're standing by the door. I don't think there's anybody that can think of Warren and not think of the video for Heaven with them in their white suits. have any regrets except the white leather. White leather is still coming back to get us. A lot of makeup, a lot of hairspray, a lot of spandex. It was just the height of the 80s right there. You were in a metal band back in the 80s and your hair wasn't sticking out. You were different. You were different. The band has no regrets about their overblown looks. Both their albums in the 80s went double platinum and they're still doing what they love most making music. I think the music's really important, actually. We just happened to decorate it with a lot of makeup and spandex. We had a good time. Still having a good time. In the mid-80s, Cinderella got their big break after John Bon Jovi caught one of their shows in Philadelphia. He hooked the guys up with a record deal, and the band was headlining stadiums in no time. Cinderella's look and sound took 80s glam to another level. Lots of scarves, buckets of makeup, and a string of blues-inspired hits. The band's first two albums, Night Songs and Long Cold Winter, sold over three million copies each. That success, plus guitarist Eric Brittingham's record-breaking hairdo, put Cinderella in at number five on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time. Eric had that, like, I, I didn't know if it was real or not. When I first met him, I was like, wow, dude, you got some great, is that hair, real hair? And it was like the best palm tree. Whoosh. Eric Winningham always had great hair. They were a great band, man, you know, and they still are. Cinderella was theatrical, to say the least. They were glam to the hilt with a lot of scarves and colorful spandex and headbands and all sorts of stuff. I think Tom Kiefer was always trying to go for a little bit of a Steven Tyler thing. The most important thing is the music. And I've read album reviews on us and all they talk about is what we wear. The thing that I remember most about Cinderella was getting a copy of the first record and looking at the cover and seeing how glammed out they were. They were a much harder band on that first record than their image appeared to be on the cover of it. The band's live shows were also heavy on arena rock gymnastics. The other thing about Cinderella is the great guitar twirling tricks that they always did. It was like a big thing that they would take them and fling them around their neck and then they'd come back and keep playing them. I think Cinderella was the first band to do 
you know, the guitar talks on the road. The rock and roll lifestyle to me is, is being on tour and playing gigs. Cinderella's still living that lifestyle today, touring with Poison in 2000 and basking in their status as one of the greatest hair bands of all time. Motley Crue got together in L.A. back in 1981, sprayed up their hair, painted their faces, and soon became one of the decade's most infamous and influential bands. From 1983 to 1990, the crew ruled the hard rock world with four consecutive smash albums, unleashing a rash of decadent rock anthems and single-handedly raising the bar on hair metal mayhem. That's why Motley Crue is number four on our list of the top 40 hair bands of all time. who was running the 80s, come on. Everybody was trying to look like them, sound like them. There wasn't enough devils to go around. <laughs> that period of music was uh, bombastic, loud, decadent. Motley Crue probably represented the most outwardly public bad boy band of that period. <laughs> Well, I am as wild as everyone might, might think I am. There were nights with, with parties with women, underage women, using some very bizarre articles and items. Um, I think you understand. <laughs> you know, we're f***ed up. You know, that was our point in life, was to just see how f***ed up you could get. Excess is best. That was our, like, motto. Hardcore mother that love to party <laughs> and have a lot of fun. Nikki would be crashing cars and ODing every day. Fortunately, the band's appetite for destruction was equaled by their talent. At the end of the 80s, they landed two top 10 singles, Dr. Feel Good and Without You. We just wanted to play good, you know, hard rock music, it's something new and innovative and fresh. And uh, I think we captured that pretty well. I missed Motley Crue completely when they were actually making records. I had no interest in hair band. I started with all kind of distasteful. And then just about three or four years ago, I went and bought Shout at the Devil and just fell in love with it. In 1999, drummer Tommy Lee split after 19 years to form his own band, Methods of Mayhem. But the crew pushes on, releasing two new records and causing near chaos on the road. Are you serious? And we definitely pushed the envelope more than any other band, in my opinion. We just didn't care if we had a hit record or if we died. We didn't care which one happened. As long as something happened, we were not going to be bored. Rock is sponsored by Cotton Incorporated. Cotton, the fabric of our lives. By Wendy's Late Night Pickup Window, where you can eat great, even late and by 1-800-CALL-ATT for collect calls. Excuse me? Dude, wake up. Hello? Yoo-hoo! Just a reminder, Wendy's pickup window's open late, so you can get a classic half-pound double with cheese made fresh. You want to get something? And eat great, even late. Dude, what are you doing, looking for change? What? You don't need change. Just pick up the phone and dial 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -L -L Say with me. C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -L -L Save big bucks on every call. Dial 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T -L -L for collect calls. Got a plate in my head. Camry Solara. Yeah, it's that nice. Tropicana Pure Premium Grove Stand is made from only fresh oranges, never from concentrate. It's as close as you can get to the orange. Tropicana Pure Premium.
this July, ten people from all over America will enter this quiet New England town and face the challenge of their lives. There's a serial killer on the loose. You must catch him before he catches you. It started as a game. It's like living one of those mystery novels. They didn't know how real... I'm very scared now. ...the fear could be. Honestly, I'm petrified. In Small Town X, the next generation of reality television, coming in July. Heinz tomato ketchup is devious. It works quietly, oftentimes under the cover of a bun. And it will change your food if you don't watch it. Heinz tomato ketchup, not to be trusted. The Miller Genuine Draft Blind Date. Mystery Band. Mystery Location. Get lost in the sound. Really lost. Look on the labels to play. Living with people means give and take. Like, my roommates get to eat my cooking school homework, so they clean up. They do a great job. They spend hours scrubbing and soaking my precious kettles. Cascade works two ways. First, it removes tough stuff. Then, its pure rinse formula leaves a better shine than the leading competitor. Now this almost makes me want to pay their part of the rent. <laughs> almost. Also in powder and gel. What if there were a liquid you could pour right into your car's engine that could actually improve your gas mileage? What a special potion that would be. And what if that same liquid gold also protected your engine like a mother protects her young? Well, wake up and pour the Haviland because you're not draining. New Haviland motor oil, unsurpassed protection. And now, test show, improved gas mileage. Haviland, something to think about this summer. Critics are calling Robert De Niro, Edward Norton, Angela Bassett, and Marlon Brando. One of the most amazing casts ever assembled. Gene Shalit says the score is a winner. Larry King calls it a keeper with a switch that will blow you away. The score, rated R, starts today. <laughs> Top 40 hair bands of all time. Heading into the top three. We're into the upper echelon of hair now. Saving the best for last. Bon Jovi arose from Sayreville, New Jersey and went straight to the top. They had it all. They pulled at your heartstrings, tugged at your rebellious side, and blew out the speakers in your car. But back in the 80s, it was their hair that really got you going. Now, I used to see John down at the Twisted Sister Club shows leaning against the ladies' room door with his hair on his pucker lips while I was sweating. That was real hair. That wasn't curls. That was sweating there. I don't know what I'm talking about. Now, Bon Jovi's hair might have changed over the years, like mine, but it was Bon Jovi's music that had the biggest impact. When it comes to hair bands, nobody had a better main attraction than Bon Jovi. John's frizzy locks and the band's acid wash style touched off a fashion frenzy, and their high-octane stage shows made them arena rock gods. These Jersey boys ruled the 80s, selling over 25 million albums, scoring five number one hits in five years, and becoming one of the biggest bands in the world, big enough to make them number three on our list of top 40 hair bands of all time. The biggest rock star from the 80s, I think, would have to unquestionably be Bon Jovi. They had so many songs that were commercially oriented, um, really big hooks. Um, so a lot of made them huge was how they were imaged and how sexy they were. We look like chicks. <laughs> what can you say, you know? We did. I mean, we had hair that was like up here like this. Matter of fact, we stopped contest. We're going to have the biggest hair, man. Let's see who has the biggest hair tonight. The long hair, you know, the funny clothes, all the all the goofy cliches. We lived them. Uh, lived through them, fortunately, but lived them. John's own quaff became something of a national phenomenon. 
Bon Jovi hair was almost a name. Somebody would go into a salon and say, hey, you know what, I want Bon Jovi hair. I guess I'm the credit or blame for the 80s long hair, you know, like every kid in the mall looked. Even bigger than their hair were the band's explosive concerts. That's what the arena experience was in the mid-80s, to be at a Bon Jovi show with... It's my life, now or never. The next time Bon Jovi comes to town, that's the show I'm going to take you to see. Because some of it survives, while most of it is just compost for the garden of rock and roll. They got together in 1973, but it took 11 years and two albums for Twisted Sister to make it big. That's when Stay Hungry went all the way to number 15 on the mighty Billboard album chart. That album has gone on to sell over 3 million copies thanks to anthems like We're Not Gonna Take It and I Wanna Rock. And the rebellious videos, Big Hair and Freakish Image had parents of the 80s and the U.S. government terrified. That's why Twisted... Dee was like a drag queen, and it was so makeup and glammy, but their music was tough as nails. Twisted Sister was the only band that could wear makeup and be tough. You know what I mean? Those guys were a ton of fun, and Dee Snyder will kick your ass. <laughs> Even though he looks like Mae West on acid. <laughs> No band dominated videos like Twisted Sister. It was, it was a, it was a real life, uh, you know, a Roadrunner cartoon. That's what we were trying to create. But the dad, we were the Roadrunner, and dad was Wile E. Coyote, and he was getting dragged down the stairs. And I'm sure my kid wants to do it to me. Come on. I don't think anybody packaged the anti-social, anti-parent. Leave me alone. I just want to rock. All right, Mr. Sister. Twisted Sister didn't just talk the talk. In 1985, frontman Dee Snyder walked it all the way to Washington, where he took on the Parents Music Resource Center, a coalition that wanted to slap warning labels on rock albums with explicit lyrics. I'm trying to get adults to see that heavy metal is not totally a bad thing. You can't stop rock and The experience was really a disappointing one. I thought that. I would be carrying the flag into battle and, and the whole industry and all the bands and the fans would follow me in. And I'm running in there with the flag and I turn around and nobody's there. And the industry caved in within a week and gave them the stickers. The truth is, there's plenty for Twisted Sister to be proud of. The band's no-holds-barred classics and comic antics remain some of the most original and uncompromising chapters in the hair band era. We had a few albums in a few years and then we burned out. But we definitely um, scarred a few minds, which is kind of nice. This is the main attraction. Get it? M-A-N-E, main. Find out who takes number one on VH1's top 40 hair bands of all time next. Last night, Bill Sleepin won a BMW Z3 Roadster just by watching VH1. Oh, my God! Yeah! yeah! You could win tonight. Watch my VH1 prime time from 9 to midnight. Look for this clue. Enter at VH1.com and win a BMW Z3. Yeah! Monsters of Rock is sponsored by Applebee's Neighborhood Grill and Bar. Eating good in the neighborhood. Applebee's. And by Blockbuster. Enjoy your summer nights with Blockbuster. Bringing entertainment home all summer long. There's a place where the sun always shines and folks love a good meal. It's got to be Applebee's. Good in the neighborhood. Summer salads are
are in the air. We're tossing oriental chicken with crunchy almonds and tangy dressing. Or dive into new salads like garlic crusted shrimp Caesar. And for a limited time, the Steakhouse. 11 ounces of sirloin with crispy greens and blue cheese only at Applebee's. And check out Applebee's new menu items like the appetizer sampler. That's eating good. Now, experience the true intensity of color. <laughs> Introducing Herbal Essences Hair Color, made with pure color extracts that saturate your hair for intense color like never before. Shine so brilliant, unbelievable color that holds on and won't let go. Got the urge? Oh, yeah. New Herbal Essences Hair Color from Clairol, a beauty all your own. Your perfect automobile. Imagine it. The seats cool you when you're hot and warm you when you're cold. The air you breathe is possibly the purest anywhere. The sounds you hear are some of the finest in the world. The all-new Lexus LS430. You don't have to imagine anymore. See your Lexus dealer now. Hey, Dan, how about that conference call tomorrow? Mm, it just doesn't feel right to me. Whatever happened to FaceTime? Somebody should go to Cleveland. I'll go. This wouldn't have anything to do with Holiday Inn Express double points. No. What? That's double... That's... I don't... Wow. Okay, I... I, I don't even know where that came from. When I get back from Cleveland... We'll talk. I like to come here early in the morning. Tylenol PM stops nighttime pain and helps you sleep so you can wake up refreshed. If I don't have a good morning, I don't hold out much hope for the rest of the day. Take comfort. It's Tylenol PM. Dude, what are you doing? Looking for change? What? You don't need change. Just pick up the phone and dial 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -T. Say with me. C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -T. Save what? big Just bucks on every call. Dial 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T -T for collect calls. Got a plate in my head. Already craving the 90s? Then don't hesitate. It's time to get your fix with Billboard Top Hits of the 90s. Over two and a half hours of the biggest hits of the decade on two CDs or two cassettes. Why wait? Order this collection by Rush Delivery. Billboard Top Hits of the 90s has no filler. It's loaded with number one hits that top the charts of Billboard magazine. You can't get this 36-track collection in any store. The 90s will always rule. Get Billboard Top Hits of the 90s now. To order, have your credit card ready and call the number on your screen. Rush delivery available. It was really the last era of the rock star. It was the last era of when musicians were kind of happy to be rock stars. The arena show, the dressing up, everything that went with it. Top 40 hair bands of all time. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Time for the unveiling of the number one band on our countdown. Now, I'd like to say that I don't mind being bumped from the number one spot for this band, but I can't. They used to come see my band in the bars. I was their inspiration. I was robbed. All right, maybe I wasn't robbed, but they had it all. They took it to the nth degree. The drugs, the sex, the alcohol, the partying, till they got dragged off the stage. The crazy guitar solos on their backs. The synchronized jamming. Drum solos that made you dizzy. Groupies galore. Hair that just wouldn't quit. The sleazy outfits. Bright lights. Bright colors. Fireworks on stage. And most of all, hot-looking band members. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted. It made all the girls scream. It was like nothing we had ever seen before and probably will never see again. The decade of decadence was all about excess, and our number one hair band carried the flag proudly. Ready to find out who it is? In 1986, Poison released their debut album, Look What the Cat Dragged In. 
and quickly became the undisputed kings of hair metal. During their five-year reign, no other band raised more hell, dressed more outrageously, or racked up more chart-topping headbangers than this L.A.-based foursome. In a decade ruled by power ballads, party anthems, and teased-up hairdos, CeCe, Bobby, Ricky, and Brett delivered it all, bigger and better than anyone. That's why Poison is number one on our list of the top 40 hair bands of... I understand, the 80s were reflecting a time where there was excess. Whether it was the way you looked, whether it was the way you lived your life, more was better. Poison took, took what we did a 10 steps further. They have the whole spirit of rock and roll thing with the big entertaining look, you know? Poison is... We wanted to be glam because all of us came from a very drab existence and part of why I play music was to escape and be out there and be outrageous. Everything about the band was outrageous. Their lives off stage were a blur of sex, drugs and rock and roll. It was out of control. I mean, the things that we've seen, done, experienced, whatever, I, you know, I've seen things that people shouldn't see. I think we're nice people in general, but there's a little evil side to it sometimes. Sometimes I look at it and I go, man, we were just it's insane. I wanted to live it for the moment I was living in and just let it, let the cards fall where they do, you know? Amidst all the hairspray, makeup, and mayhem, Poison became an inescapable musical force. By 1991, the band had scored three consecutive multi-platinum albums and a string of arena rocking hits that fans are still pumping their fists to. <laughs> The band got together for a sold-out reunion tour in 1999. The following year, they released the live album, Power to the People, and CeCe's working with a second band called Samantha Seven. I think the ingredients that helped make Poison successful is the fact that the chemistry between CeCe and Bobby and Ricky and myself works. And, and I'm not saying that we don't all have different ideas and different things we do, but when we get together and we go out there, it works. I think we were doing exactly what we wanted to do. We are having a blast. The one thing that I still have is my hair. Considering everything I've done. Look, too tall now, everything. I'm trying to be hip. Look at me, I'm hip. Hey, girls, look, I'm hip and young. Look. Hi, this is Brett Michaels of Poison. Right now, you are watching the number one glam metal video of all time. And I thank you. Talk dirty to me.